Moses? Upstairs to sleep. Oh. I am the daddy. Yeah. Granddad. How's Debbie coping? Um, not great. I hope you avoided the I told you so. I mean, I know you've never been exactly happy about her and Ross. No. Turns out with good reason. Oh. Go on. May as well keep me in the loop. The reason she dumped him? It was him who shot Robert. Why do I get the feeling there's something I'm not going to like here? Again, try not to kick off. I don't make promises I can't keep. I knew about Ross having a gun. But I really wanted to tell you. So why didn't you tell me? I was in a difficult situation. Pete had sworn me to secrecy. Other people have family too, you know. So the fact they moved in with my daughter and my grandkids didn't even bother you? Oh, if I'd have thought they were in any kind of danger, of course I would have said something. Is that supposed to make me feel better? <sighs> I'm sorry. I really am. Oh. Uh, trouble. Why have Mum and Ross split up? Um. He's, he, he did something bad. Like what? Sit down. She didn't want to tell you, but you know them trainers that he got you? They were nicked. And she doesn't want you and your brother around someone who's touchy. Hey, you were nicked, stuff. I wanted those trainers. <laughs> well, you can't always get what you want. I liked him and I hate you. Growing up to be just like me, aren't she? So you'll come round. So where have you been? I've been to see Mum. Problem with that. Tell you what you wanted to hear, did she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly why I went. Well, I don't know why you went. I don't understand her any more than I do you sometimes. Well, you'd be glad to know that one of us ain't going to be your problem anymore. What are you on about? I've had enough. I'm taking the kids and we're leaving today. Look, the kids are upstairs if you want to say your goodbyes. Just keep it together, because as far as they're concerned, they're going on holiday, OK? Does that mean that you've accepted it? Like I said, we've got no choice, have we? Well, then you better bring Moira, because there's something that I needed to do. I need to take him until Mum gets out. What? Are you sure about this? I, I mean, I, I will, of course I will. I'd take him with me, but he's not mine to take. And I, I don't want Ross having an excuse to come and find me. Listen, Debs, I don't have to do this. Are you going to say your goodbyes now or are you going to come to the airport? I'll come with you and I'm doing that. Come here. <laughs> you take care of yourself. <laughs> it's OK. It's OK. What's happening? She's leaving with her kids. Leaving? Even when I've got nothing left, you still manage to take something, don't you? Well, congratulations, mate. You win again. Debbie? Dad? Get <laughs> going. Go on. Debbie, no! Go! Please! Please, Debbie! I need to know. Uh, her and Ross have had a bust up. What about this time? Well, does it matter? It's over. That's all you need to know. But they're always arguing. Yeah, only this time she's had enough. She's taken the kids and she's left the village. What do you mean, left? Well, we're all saying goodbye. Well, how long for? I think it's pretty permanent. Is she OK? What, do you think I'd let her go if she wasn't OK? Are you sure I can't give you a hand? Go on, leave. I'll sort it. All right. See ya.
Does his life. She don't miss a trick. You give her half a story. She's she's like a heat-seeking missile. Well, Debbie will ring her, won't she? When she's got settled. Yeah, I suppose I might get the odd phone call from Debbie now and then. Mm. What is that? Sam gave him to me. He's called Jommy. Cut off his tail off in the trap, but he didn't die. Sam says he needs looking after. Thanks very much, Sam. Listen. He's got no dad, his mum's inside. Can you not give him five minutes of happiness? You can't keep a wild mouse in a cage. It'll die. And in the meantime, I'll be feeding it, cleaning it, as well as looking after Noah and Moses. Mm. You I've got enough on my plate. <sighs> what do you want? I want my grandchild. He's Ross's son and he should be with us. Well, it's not happening. Yeah. Debbie asked us to look after him. Yeah? Well, Debbie's not here, is she? Well, neither is Ross. Ross is busy. Well, we are all busy, Emma. And if he really wanted Moses, he'd be here right now, not you. Yeah, that bear ticket. Don't puke in my paperwork again. Came about. Why? I wanted to talk to you both before taking my son. Has your mum put you up to this? He's my son, and I want him. Ross, you're not even on the birth certificate. So? Doesn't make me any less of his dad. What are you to him? Third auntie, once removed. You're not even blood. <sighs> hey, buddy. Well, you can't just take him. Look, I'm calling Kane. I'm doing you a favour, aren't I? What are you, some stupid skivvy to the Dingles rejects? Not even answering, is he? What's Kane going to do anyway? He doesn't have a leg to stand on. Come on. Fine. Just. Give me five minutes and I'll get these things together. Like you say, I don't have a leg to stand on. Do you think you can manage? Fill your boots. You'll be banging on that door, begging us to take him back within a week. Before I need him over. Uh, how many times? I did try to ring you. And he is Moses' dad. Well, uh, the fact that he handles guns, it doesn't even bother you, does it? Oh, you just can't help yourself, can you? Debbie ask you to look after Moses. Kane, he is your family, and I haven't seen you trying to look after him much, and I'm trying to run a farm here too, you know. Yeah, so I promise you're going to look after him if you're just going to dump him on Ross. I haven't just dumped him. That kid's your baby, does, and you know it. Oh, well, thanks for the lesson in family loyalty. Only wish you'd stand up for me in the same way. He's still not called. It's not as if they could have gone far, because they'd need a passport for the baby. They couldn't, could they? Of course they could. You can disappear like that if you want. Well, maybe your family can. And do on a regular basis, but Adam's not like that. Got customers. Uh, Kane, what about your coffee? God. <gasps> Johnny! I'm sorry. That's it then. That's all you've got to say. Wait, can we just leave it? Get out of my house. I just wanted some more time to say goodbye, that's all. Look, I never would have hurt him, you know that. Of course she does. Someone get him out of here now. Come on, mate. Yeah. Let's get you home. Hey. It's been great, mate. Being your dad. You look after him, all right? I did that after this morning. I best make it snappy, I've not got long. Adam's fine, by the way. He's at home with Victoria. Well, I need to go back to at work. You need to get someone else in. You can't manage on your own. I just have. Ross. Really? Look, I don't like it any more than you do, but we're desperate. All right, he's not a bad mechanic. I mean, Debbie away, you know. Who knows, maybe he's man be on the job. After all the grief you gave me over Debbie. Just leave it, will you? I've already knocked his wages down. I've got him cheap. Happy. You avoiding me by any chance? You're the one hiding in there. Maybe I'm tired of getting the cold shoulder. Don't you think it's time to let this go? I've just lost a grandson. 
And Adam's in a mess. At least you can still see him. They're not a million miles away. So you're still having a go at me for Debbie leaving, and yet you hire Ross? If that's not double standards, I don't know what is. You keep telling yourself that. I swear I could brain him sometimes. I oh, made my big mouth. I wish I never told you about that gun. Oh, I'm glad you did. Besides, it's not just Debbie he's annoyed about. He's got a list. Yeah, well, he's wrong. Thank you. It's nice to know someone listens to me. I'd offer you one, but I'm guessing you're not stopping. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Give you a chance to have another little heart-to-heart -heart with Pete, play the martyr. Is that really all you think of me? Now, what am I supposed to think when he starts mouthing off at me in the pub like he knows my business? OK. Maybe I have talked to him. But can you blame me after the way you've been lately? The way I've been? You look after your family and you drop mine like a stone. I didn't choose Pete over Debbie, if that's what you think. That's not why she left. If I'd have known, I could have done something about Fine. it. Fine. Have it your way. Give Ross a job, blame me. It's all my fault, right? I expect that from Ross as a low life. So what does that say about me? Nice. You know, Kane, there was a time I thought we could get through anything life threw at us. And now? I don't know anymore. Yeah. Well, that makes two of us. Kane! Kane! <laughs> <laughs> It's time for a drink. I'd love one, but just not here. I'm trying to keep out of Kane's way. If I were you, I'd do the same. He told me you had words earlier. Yeah, I, um, I should have kept my nose out. I'm sorry. Don't be. To be honest, it's nice to know someone's fighting my corner for a change. As long as I didn't make things worse. No, Kane did that all by himself. I... Trying to wind me up. Should have finished this hours ago. Oh yeah, cause fitting a gearbox is a ten minute job. Get real. Oi. Oh, so cause Maura's giving you a hard time, I get it in the neck. Listen, you get it in the neck because I can't stand to even look at you. Let alone listen to all the bull that comes out your mouth. So why don't you do us both a favour and shut up? No problem. What do I know anyway? Your marriage has got nothing to do with me, right? I was meant to be shifting those. Why? Because of some stupid macho pride. This farm ran perfectly well before you came here. Yeah, I know. It's not what I meant. Look, right, I'm, I'm sorry, ignore me. I didn't mean to snap at you. Listen, I'm the one who should be sorry. Should have known Kane wouldn't have listened. Yeah, well, I'm big enough to deal with my own problems, especially when it comes to Kane. Well, I consider myself told off then. You're not being told off. I just like being able to talk to you and let off steam. It means a lot. I don't want to lose that. Me too. I mean, you're the only one I can talk to you about prison. Then yeah, it looks like we need each other. But from now on, can we just keep things between you and me? La la. Yeah. Hey, and didn't you mention something about a beer earlier? Don't know about you, but I'm spitting feathers here. I'll go and grab a few. Kane should think himself lucky to cut out the bags and not him. Well, something tells me there's more to come. I don't know why you bother sometimes. If you'd ask me, you deserve much better. Yeah, well, the last time I checked, Daniel Craig was taken, so I guess I'm stuck with Kane. <sighs> yeah. Well, then he needs to realise how lucky he is. You see, that is the correct answer. This is why I love talking to you. You always know how to make me feel so much better. Thanks. Thinking, just go. Have a good talk behind my back, will I? Look, believe it or not, you're not the only topic of conversation. So if you're here to have another go at me, then. <gasps> um, aren't we skipping the part where you apologise? I'm sorry. I got enough. Look, um, apart last night, 
I'm sorry, okay. I don't know where that came from. Well, I, I was upset with Kane, but we've made up now. We're married, so that's the end of it. And what happened between us, it was, it was a moment of madness. So let's just forget about it, okay? Yeah. That's what Finn said. You've told Finn? I mean, it was mass this morning, but I knew something was up. Well, you, you say you're hungover or something, but for God's sake, Pete, if this gets out... But he's not going to say anything. What if he starts acting weird around me and Kane picks up on it? No, I can't take that risk. You're not going to tell him? Well, it'll be a lot worse for both of us if he hears about this from someone else. Oh. Now, look, um, you go and do the deliveries and I'll make sure he knows that it's nothing for him to get worked up about. Hope you're hungry. Actually, I need to work up on appetite. Oh. Mm. So uh, <laughs> last night wasn't enough of apology for you. Eh? Uh, okay, and that's 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 not why I called you home. We need to talk. Oh, we don't need to go through this again. No, no, no. But you, you were right when you told me that I should have told you about Ross. So there's something else that you need to know. What's he done now? N not him, Pete. He kind of made a move on me. OK. Well, you told him where to go off, right? Let's not make this something that it's not. It's, it's just one stupid mistake. Yeah, I'll say. But you've still not answered my question. So keep talking. <laughs> came out of nowhere. And he knows it was wrong, so there's no need to go off on one. You don't get to decide what I'm going to do about it. Well, it's not like you haven't made mistakes. Chrissy, for one. And you didn't even own up to that until you were forced to. At least I'm telling you about this straight away. Straight away? So when, when did this happen exactly? When he was round last night? Keen, just go on. So were you thinking about when we're in bed? How can you even ask that? Well, it's your type, isn't it? Closest thing you've got to good old dependable John. What? You are my type. But if you must know, Pete has been there for me when you haven't. I've been going through hell over all this stuff with Adam and I needed someone to talk to. I'd prefer it to be my husband, but you were nowhere to be seen. Well, talk is one thing, but why would he come on to you unless he thought he had a chance? I don't know. I'm not going to apologise for something that I haven't done. You've thought about it, though, haven't you? No! I don't want this. I'm just as upset as you are. Where are you going? He's crossed a line. And he's talking to. What's up with him? I think you're about to find out. A word. This isn't necessary. I'm only going to warn you once. Keep your hands off my wife. Wife? I'm sorry, Kate. You won't be. Oh, if you want to take me, then just do it. I deserve it. Take you? You deserve far worse than that. Well, I'll tell you something. You won't know when it's coming. So I'd watch your back if I were you. You don't mind. Was there really any need to threaten him? You can see how sorry he was. I've given him a heads up, which is pretty generous in my book. Oh. This has gone far enough. I'm serious, Kane. I don't want you to go near him. Why do you care what I do unless you actually have feelings for him? I don't. Come on, I only want you. But I don't want this eating away at us, which it will if you don't drop it. Now, I forgave you for Chrissy. Works both ways, doesn't it? 
Okay. So we'll quit. But if he goes near you one more time... He won't. I'll make sure of it. I don't want anything or anyone coming between us. So I'll tell Pete that I think it's best that he doesn't work here anymore. Okay? Um, you don't have to come with me. I just want to make sure I get some message. Time. I'll come to get me when I'm down, have you? Come on, then. Pete! Come on! He is a psycho. He's just coming at me for no reason. You need your head testing now, kid. So, Mum and Dad, I'm sorry. Oi. Hands off my sister, Lisa. OK. Relax. He's joking. I text him. You are joking, aren't you? Yeah, I am. But obviously... If I hurt her in any way, you'll kill me. Don't worry, I remember our first little chat. You don't forget that in a hurry. Good. So, Sam, Moira? Gordon, Gordon, Moira. Aaron's dad. Hi. Pleased to meet you. And you went to school with us lot. Everybody reckons he only got with Chas to stop Kim bullying him. <laughs> oh, really? I have no idea what he's talking about, eh, Gordon? Search me. Your husband was always incredibly well behaved at school. Well, now I know you're lying. <laughs> Bit quiet in here, it? And it's only going to get worse. They're having an anniversary do at the malt, and Carly's got a wine tasting at the shop. He's giving away a free booze. What are we doing here then? Showing some loyalty, I hope. Well, you could close up. We could go and drink the competition dry. We've got customers. Barely. Come on. I reckon you two deserve a night out. Nah. You go, love. I don't think I've got the energy. A slow night in here by myself sounds great. You sure? Yeah. Go and get me caught. You're in a good bed. Well, it's good to see you happy, isn't it? And what about Aaron? Well, Charles seems pretty convinced he'll come round and I'll keep an eye on him. So you like Gordon, then? I wouldn't go that far. He's a bit of a wimp, but harmless. That's exactly what she needs right now. You ready? Yeah. See you down. You them. Oh, it'd be worth it to get interested in this place. You know, show people. Uh, we were hoping, um, might Debbie think about renting out a house while she's away? No, she wouldn't. She'll be away for a bit, not forever. Keen, they're only asking. Absolutely. It's just, it was our home for a very long time. <laughs> I suppose we still think of it as such. <laughs> well, it's not, is it? Not anymore. Well, it just seems a bit of a shame it's standing there empty. I mean, is Debbie going to be back soon? It's not for rent, OK? Thank you. Anyway, then, just a thought. Just a thought. Come on, mm. come on. Hello. What for? Because maybe she'd be glad to rent her place out. It's not worth the hassle. Debs will be back, and when she is, she'll need a home ready and waiting. If you say so. Yes, I say so. Except we both know that she's not coming home anytime soon. I reckon it's time you start facing up to that. Awesome. Moira? Uh, no, I'm fine, thanks, Ashley. A um, pint of lager, please, and two orange juices, Chad. Mm. There you go. You can move in tomorrow. <laughs> or not. I don't care. We weren't expecting that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure we'll be able to move quite so soon. Uh, we still have to give notice on our place. Well, either you want it or you don't. No, we want it, definitely. We'll make it work. Thank you. Um, Chaz, can you bring the drinks over? Yeah, no, it's fine. So you spoke with Debbie then? No big deal. No, of course not. I'm sorry. I didn't want to be right. What you were? Debbie knows what she wants. She's settled where she is, and Sarah's got into a local school, and she likes it. Oh, morning. Morning. There's uh, still a double bed and a few of the bits, if you want to give us an hand. Oh, well, I, I've got to pack a, 
a whole house more or less single-handedly, but, uh, OK. <laughs> He's joking, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> now, I spoke to Chrissy and she's going to release us from the tenancy, no prob, so we can move in whenever. All right, brilliant. There you go, there's the spurs. Any problems, give our Debbie a ring. Yes. Oh, I haven't got a number. Look, we'll sort the people back out later. Come on. Oh. Enjoy. Thank you. Oi! What are you doing? Just leave it, Ross. I've just got the keys and moving in. Dad, what now? Dad. Devs? Oh, you have no idea how much I have missed you. Devs, don't put the phone down, just talk to me. <laughs> the next word that comes out of your mouth better be bad. Larry, have you spoke to her? No. She put down the phone as soon as she heard my voice. Well, she won't be hearing it uh, again. Kane, if you missed her as half as much as I did, you would know how much I need to talk to her. What are you doing? No, I know you won't be talking to her because no one will. She'll get over it eventually. Who speaks Warren? Go ahead. <sighs> Guessing my mum's been moaning to you about me getting rid of Gordon. What do you expect? She felt like he was helping to get her life back on track. Yeah, well, it's bad news. And the rest? I can't. You're just gonna have to trust me. Well, I'd like to, but you've not exactly been yourself lately, have you? You're still seeing that therapist like you promised? Yeah, of course I am. Like I said, it was just a blip. Why can't I come with you? Why does Mum never want to see me? Because she doesn't want you around places like that, and I don't blame her. Plus, you've got school. Tell her I got picked for the football team. And I've got an name, Moss, if she even cares. Well, she does, and I will. Now, go on. Go wait in the car and I'll be out in a minute. Bye. He really wants to see Charity, and I really don't. I can't believe you got this out of the bin. We need to know what she's thinking, because there's no way she's going to get her feet under my table, no matter what Emma says. Hey, it's uh, Andy about. The fence in the top field's blown over again. It's a two-man job. Oh, we've got a feed delivery due any minute, and I'll need him to help me unload. Can I send him up when we're done? Yeah, sure. Kind of a struggle to stay on top of everything now. Peace, guy. And we've got enough waifs and strays here with Andy in the caravan, so make sure Charity knows that. I seriously doubt she wants to come back here. What makes you think that? Because she knows I'm not interested and her ego couldn't handle it. Oh, Kane, come on. The woman thinks she's God's gift. And playing games is her favourite pastime. Stop stressing. I don't want her here any more than you do. <coughs> Gosh, ever thought of a career in the prison service, perhaps? That kind of moody glare is just what they go for. What do you want? I want to talk. I'm going to be out of here soon. So, there's my welcome home party to sort out for starters. Well, that should be easy to organise. No one will come. Oh, just lighten up, will you? How's Debs? Well, she's gone away for a while. What? Why? Because of what you said to her. Making her think that she'd never shake Ross off. So she's gone to get away from him and clear her head. And don't ask me where because she doesn't want anybody to know in case word gets back. But she's all right, though, yeah? I spoke to her a few days ago, but then I had to smash my phone because I caught Ross trying to contact her on it. Well, it'd just been easy to smash his... face. Well, that's a fine way to speak about the father of your child, but yes, I will, if he tries anything again. Still can't blame him for trying. When that crazy love gets hold of you, it's hard to let go. Because you know nothing else will ever come close. Well, Ross will come to his senses soon enough. It'll be a very lonely life for him. He keeps angling for something that's never going to happen. So how is the most important man in my life? Noah. 
He got picked for the football team. Got a name, Maths. Blimey, Maths? Oh, well, he must have cheated. There is one problem, though. Emma's got it into his head that uh, you and him are going to be at the farm once you get out of here. And? And I need you to put him straight. I mean, most people in here are counting the days till they get out. You know, can't wait to get back to their own bed, their own home. I haven't got a home. Or a bed. So sort yourself out. I will, Kane, but it's going to take me time. So maybe it's best if we do stay at yours just while I'm looking. Well, that might be good for you, but it's not for me and Mara. Do you know, it's actually Moses and Noah that I'm worried about. It's going to be enough upheaval as it is. Just please think of the kids, Kane. That's the first time you've mentioned Moses since I got here. Yeah, well, I was just assuming that no news is good news. So Debs didn't take him with her then? Ross has got him. For now. God help him. Well, he doesn't need divine intervention, does he? He just needs a proper home. I want to be a good mum to both of them, but I can't do that in a cardboard box, can I? But you don't have to do it at my house either. You mean Moira's house? Because let's face it, this is all coming from her, isn't it? No. No, it isn't, actually. Well, can you blame her for thinking you've got an ulterior motive? Oh, blimey. How insecure. Are we done? No, I'm sorry. Please, just hear me out. OK? I've had a lot of time to think while I've been in here about the mistakes I've made, we've made. What are you on about? Debs. We were never there for her when she was a kid. So no wonder she can never settle down with anyone. No wonder she screwed up every shot of happiness she's ever had. But I have got time to get it right with Noah. But I, I can't do it on my own. I need help. Debs has gone. Zach's hardly in a position to prop me up. You're all we've got. You fancy a cuppa? Could do something stronger. Don't tell me things went that badly with charity. I told her she wasn't welcome here, but I didn't feel great about it. But we both agreed that we didn't want her here. So five minutes of her bending your ear, and suddenly you're going back on it. This is about your insecurities, isn't it? Do you think I'm going to cheat at the first chance I get? No, I don't. But she's in love with you, Cain. And if you give in to her, she's going to take that as a green light. You don't trust me, do you? Don't put what happened with Pete onto me. Oh, I wondered how long it would be until you threw that in my face. Well, you obviously think I can't control myself just because you could barely manage it. Now, that is low. Pete made a mistake, but Charity, she's devious. She's already tried to manipulate us from prison. How much worse is it going to be when she's actually here? She's just trying to do right by her kids. Oh, come off it. She's barely clapped eyes and Moses since they cut the umbilical cord. And as for Noah, I mean, she sold him as a baby. And she's still using him as a bargaining chip now. Well, I'm not falling for it. Is Moira about? I thought we could set a date for women in the use when I was here. Moira? Moira? What? Rona wants to see you. Oh, well, can you deal with her? I'm getting changed. Sure, I can be trusted speaking to another woman. Right, I tell you what, just get her to call me whenever, yeah? Are you going to stop acting like a child? Are you going to stop dreaming like one? Are you going to get that? Going for a walk. Don't stop it for breakfast late at the car. Noah's not in his room. We know we have to drag him out of his pit. No, he, he left this. He must have heard me saying about charity selling him to Zoe. Now he's going to think nobody wants him. Well, it's about right, isn't it? Oh, don't. You can't make me feel any worse than I already do. Surely he hasn't stayed out all night. It's freezing. I'll go and check the bars. You, you start making round, yeah? OK. Listen, 
Him and Jake were well tight, aren't they? Must know something. Layla's given him a third degree. Pretty sure he'd have cracked if he knew anything. <sighs> Can't have gone far, can he? Keep me closer, Jay. <sighs> We've been worried sick. Are you OK? Listen, I am sorry I said all that stuff. You weren't meant to hear any of it. I was angry and I, and I was stupid. I'm really, really sorry, OK? Well, he's safe now. That's the main thing. Where were you? I found an old shed. It was open. I didn't break in or anything. Don't be too hard on him. He's had a rough night. I saw him wandering about on my way into work. I was coming home. I'd think twice before I pulled a stunt like that again if I were you. Wasting police time is a very serious matter. I'll leave you to it then. I'm sure you've got plenty to talk about. Thanks so much. You got anything to say for yourself? Yeah, let me take this. You go upstairs and get changed and I'll sort you something to eat. Right, well, that told him, didn't it? I guess we owe you a big thank you. Oh, don't be daft. I'm just glad he's safe. Whether we like it or not, we're family now, aren't we? And he's a very unhappy little boy. Convinced that nobody wants him. I know charity's hard work, but... It's going to really mess him up if you throw him out. Thanks again. See you. Did she make me feel any worse? Hey, he's back. It's all back. Yeah. You can't unhear the things I said, though, can he? It's not like anything you said wasn't true. Yeah, which is worse. Look, have you met his <sighs> mum? He'll bounce back. Sorry, I'll... No, 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 you're all right. I was going to make you something to eat, wasn't I? But we need to have a wee talk. I'm grounded, all. Just a little bit. I'm going to ask your mum if she wants to stay here when she gets out. Me as well? Oh, no, 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 no. You'll be out in the cow shed. Don't listen to him. Yes, you as well. The pity of you can stay here until you get sorted. You, you can't go anywhere anyway, can you? If you're grounded. Hey, Chaz, Dan said it went well in court. Yeah, great. I'll be back out in a minute. I'll take it you're not having a pudding. Don't it. He's looking to be out of the house. Mm. Tell me again. Yes, please. Mm. Panic over right here. Sorry? No way. Hey, happens to the best of us. I almost left our Carly on the top deck of a bus. <laughs> we didn't leave him anywhere. He ran away. Yeah, I've done that a few times as well. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. Uh, cappuccino, please, Bob. Coming right up. How's Noah doing today? Yeah, he's fine. Bet you're excited about Charity moving in. Clearly not as much as you are. I just want everyone to be happy. Oh, I hope you enjoy the time you've got left with Moses. Oh, I'm his nana. I'm sure Charity won't be difficult about me seeing him. She'll let you anywhere near him once she's out. We'll see. How are you, by the way? Better than you, by the look of things. Long day? It's just taken me five hours to get from Carlisle. Some idiot spilt his load on the A66. The sooner your charity gets back, the better. You could always employ more drivers. How would I pay them? Another bottle, please, Mum. And you seem to know a lot of lives already. So welcome on board. Yeah. Lawrence traded you in for a younger model, then? That's Jessica, our temp. Thanks. On account of Nicola leaving us in the lurch. Her idea, not mine. Mm, I bet you didn't try and talk her out of it. <sighs> it was the best solution. Yes, well, you stand here and enjoy your... Charles! She had to go somewhere. Why does she keep smiling at me? Just ignore her. Have you got a problem? Not in the least. <sighs> Why are you looking so pleased with yourself? He's just had a bit of good news. Haven't you told him? No, I thought I'd let you do it. Tell us what. Gonna have plenty of 3 a.m. nappy changes to look forward to now. I don't mind Mum doing it, if that's what she wants. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, charity phone. Said she's gonna put my name on the birth certificate. We are now officially Moses' family. Why would she do that? No idea. 
Maybe she's finally seen sense. Looks like you don't know her as well as you think. Well, it's up to her. It's her choice. Yeah. And from what I can tell, she does like to get her own way. OK, thanks a lot. I'll come and pick them up at dinner time. OK, cheers, bye. Pick up who? Well, Charity's finally remembered that she's got a son who misses her. Wonders never cease. Why does she want you to take him? Maybe she's afraid if you go, she won't be able to keep her hands to herself. Oh, yeah, because last time I let her rip all my clothes off. I'm joking. I expect she wants to see if Noah's OK. What does it matter which one of us takes him? She's up to something. Oh, what? Well, and I'm so gullible that she can pull the wool over my eyes. Did I say that? Actually, this is good. Give me a chance to speak to her before she moves in. Make sure she knows what's what. Are you ready? Two minutes, yeah? OK, we'll wait in the car. Thanks for this. For what? I'm clocking off. It's half three. I promised my mum I'd look after Moses. <laughs> Not my time. I'm officially his dad now. Paternity leave. Unpaid. I think you'll find I'm legally entitled. I wonder who got to Jerry. Made a change of mind. I have no idea. Well, someone must have put in a good word for me. Well, it wasn't me. Uh, Debbie, maybe. I've told you, don't even think about it. Debbie doesn't want an idiot like you in her life, and neither do I. Right. Of course. Because I'm not good enough for Debbie. No. But Pete's good enough for Auntie Moira. <laughs> You mentioned Debbie. All my misses again now waste you. And this time you'll be crawling out your grave, you get me? Okay. At least Charity still loves you, eh? If you go anywhere near Kane, even look at him in the wrong way. You're out of that door, you understand? Me and Kane, as if. Really? So why did you tell him that you loved him? And I know that you told Ross to try and break us up. Look, I was in a mess when I said that. He was there for me when no one else was. I was... I was made up when he agreed to look after Noah. We both agreed. It was just as much my decision as it was his. Kane isn't yours. He never will be. All right, keep your knickers on. No, Charity, you keep yours on. Will you just relax? Me and Kane are a thing of the past, just like you and James. And Pete. I've got to say, Moira, you and your nephew, respect. I don't know where you get your facts from, but nothing happened. Who am I to judge? Hey, we've got a lot in common now, haven't we? I've had Kane, so have you. I've had Ross, now you've had Pete. I didn't have Pete, and Kane knows that, so don't even think of stirring things. Well, how could I do that when you two are so solid? You need to have more faith in yourself. Hey, you took your time. People kept pushing in. Oh, well, it happens in this place. Me, however, would prefer to wait my turn. to say hi. Homework. I'm hungry. Well, the sooner you do your maths, the sooner you get your tea. Want a brew? Yes, please. How's Charity? Gloating. Did you tell her about Pete? Of course not. Someone did. Ross. Oh. I think she reckons it's just a matter of time before you stumble into bed with her. Well, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I won't stop her trying. No, it's not going to happen because we're not going to give her the chance. The deal's off. No way she's staying here. But we've promised not no. having her or anybody else sticking the nose in. You and me were good. Be honest then. The Pete thing. Why do you keep wondering about that? He's been sentenced tomorrow. He's not a threat. He never was. I know. I trust you. Thanks. I trust you too. But we need to let Charity stay, for Noah's sake. 
Well, I'm okay if you're okay. I am. And it's only for a couple of weeks. And as long as we show a united front, she'll soon get the message. No. Don't don't um <clears throat> don't live her alone again. Kane. I'm s I've got to be somewhere. You've not been anywhere near the garage because I've just called there. You came home late last night, you slept in here, and you didn't say a word to me. What is happening? Nothing has been sorted. What is? Nothing for you to worry about. So that's you and Chaz trying to convince me. What she said? As little as she can get away with, like you. Kane, are you ill again? Wait, please, tell me. Oh, right. Laughing helps. I'm not ill. <clears throat> so, do I need to make a list of every possibility that might make you act like this? Because I will, and we will sit here and you'll listen until it's whittled down, and I'm serious. What have you done? Nothing. In the end, sit down. That poor lad. How is this only just coming out now? Why didn't he tell me? Us, anyone. Where's his dad? Hmm? I mean, where is he right now? Put thoughts like that out of your head right now. I mean it. Kane, tell him. I'm surprised you've not sorted him out yourself. Look, seriously, yeah. If you want to go... Tell him! Well? Where are you going? I'm going to the station to pick him up, Sammy. Is that OK with you? Anyone want another? Feels like a wake. It should be Gordon's. Just need with you? No. No, he didn't want this. You know, all the fuss. But I told him that you guys were here and everything. You know, he says thanks, but... Well, he went in the back way. I think he just wants to be alone for a bit, you know? I have no idea what's wrong with this. Well, I'd leave that for now. I think we might have another problem. Come in. Morning, Mr Dingle. Is there anyone down that Nick doesn't know my name? A couple of the newer cleaners, maybe. We're following up reports of a stolen vehicle. Ferrari. Lovely motor. You don't know anything about that, would you? Are you what are you saying? Are you accusing us of something? 
Not accusing. Inquiry. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't help you with your inquiry. So you won't mind if we take a look around outside? Yes, we do mind. No. No, we don't. Fill your boots. Never know, we might put what into a barn when we weren't looking. We'll leave it for now. Let us know if you hear anything, eh? I'll be right on the blow. Mind how you go, officers. Don't drive really fast into any big walls. Do I need to ask? If it was me, I'll have more chance of nicking a Ferrari than I have a fix in this at the moment. Mm. Well, that's because your mind's not on it with Nora and everything. Why don't you take a break and we'll go out for some lunch? Well, it's not lunchtime. Oh, well, we're not there yet. I'll drive. You drink. You thought I nicked it, didn't you? I told you, I didn't. So why won't you let them look in the barn, then? Because it's private. <laughs> you cut me, Maura, you cut me, Dee. Now, watch out. Thanks. Who's the farmer? Probably put him stolen goods in his barn. Come on, make yourself useful. Oh! Can I help friends to hit them? Uh, uh, just stay beside me. Ben. Go on, move it! Go on, Ben! Jeb, 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 Jeb! Hey, it's working! One man and his wife, eh? Right? Oh, hilarious. Hey! The fence is broken. Jeb, Jeb! Oh, we're losing it, Mora! Mora! Funny looking tractor. Oh. Don't suppose you know where the nearest parking meter is? What are you doing? Sorting my lippy out. Doing that when I went round the bend. Bit of a bad idea in hindsight. I think he meant in general. You do know that you have a little boy at home with a broken heart? Oh, bless him. Which one? Noah! Oh, yeah, Moses won't care, will he? Well, he takes after his mother, then. All right, Moira, meow! But this is the car the police are looking for. What, they're after it? Well, is it yours? Why are you even...? You know, you are a lot of things charity. Almost all of them, not that great. I never had you down as the world's most stupid person until I now. I'd come back with nothing, could I? I've got my kids to think about. Well, they've managed so far without a fancy car in their lives. Yes, but the money for selling it will come in handy, won't it? You know, not it back inside, leaving us to pick up the pieces of your kids. Again? Well, all the more reason to help me out, then. Help you out with what? Well, it's covered in fingerprints. Have you got a hanky? I'm not putting my hands on that car. For God's sake. Look, you go and sort the sheep out. Well, get out. Give me a hand. Oh, brilliant. What's the matter? A car. So? Blue and yellow with lights on top. What? Where? Oh, Kane, what are we going to do? Make this disappear or something? What's going on, David Copperfield? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Copperfield? Shut up! <laughs> What are you doing? I don't know yet, but we're about to find out. Take your jacket off. Oh, yeah. And so it starts. Just do it. Right. Go find some branches or something, will you? Ooh. Kinky sausage. <gasps> Hiya. Hiya. Sorry, a bit of unexpected congestion, I'm afraid. These yours? Uh, I'm a farmer, yeah, but I was just on my way out, actually, hence the... Let's see about sorting them out, eh? Come well, no, no, I've got this one. It's fine. Pretty hands and all that. No, 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 but, uh, you see, the thing is, with sheep, uh, the fewer hands, the better. That's why we have dogs, and how many hands does a dog have, right? Where's your dog? Well, like I said, I was on my way out, but honestly, I've got this, and... You know, they don't know you, and you know what sheep are like. Not really. Even more reason to leave it to me, then. Uh, but maybe if you go back up the track and uh, to the last junction and redirect traffic for five minutes. You sure you're okay? More than. Okay then. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. 
Cheers. Good luck. Yeah. Bye, bye. Wow, someone's been watching YouTube. You are a total liability. What'd you do? Just walk into a showroom? It's got the keys. I got a tip off on the inside, didn't I? Where it's kept, where the keys are. Could hardly turn it down, could I? Listen, what do you reckon it'll fetch? About five years. Don't say that! Don't ever say that. I'm not going back. I can't face it. Not ever. Well, how about you stop acting like you want to? Well, I will, just as soon as I've sold it on. And guess what? I know a man who knows all about that. Forget me helping you. Did you not understand me when I said the police were looking for it? Do you like taking risk, you or what? Oh, life's a risk, Kane. I thought you used to embrace it, remember? 10%. No. 20. Come on, all you got to do is make a few phone calls. Well, if it's that easy, why don't you do it yourself? Or better still, don't. You're not freezing? Well, he insisted I strip, so. Uh, I'm sure you had a lot of sway in prison. Clicked your fingers and your flunkies did all your bidding for you. Now you're back in the real world now, so that doesn't work. Certainly not to get my husband to fence your stupidly stolen goods for you. In fact. Well, what are you doing? You a favour. Well, you're not enough film. Yeah, and you're not in prison, and that's how it's staying. No, Moira! Absolutely no way! Get out of that car now! Moira! Moira! Why? Moira! Moira! Listen! You don't know what you're doing! You're gonna you're gonna run it! Whoops. It's like you might have the bed to yourself tonight. Unless you choose otherwise. You've got a brand new combine harvester. What I don't have is time, so are we going to do this? All right. All business. Just give me a sec to take all this in. After all those times that you've had a go at me, eh? Look, Ross, if you can help me. I am helping. 20% and don't bother arguing. You can have 50 if I don't have to drive that again. All right. You've done me with your excellent negotiating skills. 50 it is. Hello, mate. Ah, guess what? Christmas comes but twice a year. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely no manners whatsoever. Not even carrying me bags for me. Like I'm still in prison. Except, obviously, the decor's a lot nicer in there. <laughs> oh, come on. She'll probably be all right. She used to driving with a heavy foot, isn't she? With tractors and that. Please won't stand a chance. If she runs into one single problem, you're gonna go through that window face first and your feet won't touch the floor until you get to the cop shop. Well, I'm sure Noah will appreciate that, won't he? Well, I think Noah would appreciate it. You're turning up when you were meant to. Well, is he all right? <sighs> Look, I needed that time, all right? Just to be on my own. And you know exactly what it's like in prison. You get used to looking after yourself and no one else. You do that wherever you are. Just don't. Get out of my sight. You all right? Yeah. What happened with the police? I didn't see any police. So what did you do? I called a contact. What contact? Ross. The car's gone. Am I allowed in the room now? Well, who took it? Did anyone see you? Well, I don't know him. And... I don't think anyone saw me. You don't think? So then, how do you like it? Well, like what? Knowing what it's like to be me. I don't. I don't like it. Well, maybe this will make you feel better. Oh. <sighs> Slide it over, Moira. There's a good farmer. I'll peel you some off for your trouble. Your payment is us saving you from going back to prison. Your book? Yes, I am. Do I get a hug? I need a sky polo. Oh, have you eaten? Well, let's go to the bully. It's not like we can't afford it. And what are me and Noah meant to eat? Well, there's loads of food in here with the money that Kane and I paid for, from what we earned from having a job. It's actually quite rewarding. 
Come on. So Charity lands on her feet again. You do know this is the ladies? Mm-hmm. Why does she even want this place? Statement of intent, isn't it? Eyes on a bigger prize. Anyway, I didn't come in to talk about her. You were really stupid today. You've got kids, responsibilities, a business. You could have thrown it all down that. But I didn't. The police could have seen you. I know. And you'd be in a cell right now. Yep. Hiding away in shame. No. Oh, you wanted me, didn't you? What was it? Charity's back. Mm, spotted that. You knew where she was all along, didn't you? Haven't got a clue. Still haven't. So I take it you know she's buying into your pub? Yeah, that might have cropped up. Not between us, it didn't. Well, do you run all your business decisions past me? And you think you can control if you let her in? I have to let her in, Kane, because my only other funding route was Gordon. She won't be the landlady. It'll be my name only above that door. My responsibility is to my rules, and she knows that. Well, there's knowing something, and then there's taking notice of it. Kane, Diane is bailing on me. I need the money. Charity's got some. Simple as that. And she showed you the money, has she? She says she's good for it. Well, it's lucky she never lies, then. Eh? What do you know that I don't? You're up early. Yeah, I know. Prison has totally turned me into a morning person still. Best part of the day, though, isn't it? <sighs> Is this all part of the old prisons change me routine? Oh, please. Why would I need to change? Morning, champ. Can I get you some brekkie? No. Cereal? I'll do it all for you. You just need to sit down. He's already had his breakfast, Charity. So much for the early bird. She's only just got up. OK, fine. Still early, thank you. Listen, Andy's covering for Sam up at home farm. Would you be able to give me a hand here for a couple of hours? Yeah, thank you, manager at the garage. Where do you want me? Gosh, farm hand too. Are there no end to your talents? Probably not. Still, I guess I did always like to see you get your hands dirty. So, are you going to be staying at the pub? Now you're going to be co-owner? That would make a lot of sense. Mm. Yeah, we certainly think so. No, what do you think? Do what you want. Right, come on, we want. Yeah. Bye. We'll go on then. We'll go on then what? Give me my marching orders like a good little boy. Why did you make such a big fuss about living here when you knew you were buying into the pub? Don't pretend it isn't a thrill you have in me here. It's not. We're all alone now, aren't we? Yeah. Don't let me keep you. You've got a pub to buy, haven't you? Oh, come on, these things don't just happen overnight, you know. Why don't you just drop the act and tell Chas you haven't got the money and you never will have? You're out of your depth, aren't you? Just admit it. Well, this is subtle. To be honest, I wasn't going for subtle. I wondered how long it'd take you. Oh, you must be feeling a bit insecure. Not even close. Yeah, I think that's everything. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's Noah's stuff? I thought it might be better that he stays with us. Did he now? But I don't know if you've noticed, but he's pretty upset with you. I miss Mother! So he's going to spend half his life blaming me for something or other? Only half. But he's starting to wish he did manage to sell him as a baby after all. You just can't let it go, can you? Look, he's happy where he is. Plus, I'll give you plenty of time to settle in here properly. My name's not even on the deeds yet. It sounds like you've got your work cut out following on your grand ideas. I'll be fine, don't you worry about me. Trust me, Charity, I'm not. No one saw him. 
Can't park there. Off anywhere special? Yes, I am, as it happens. You don't mind. Happy to oblige. After I've asked you a couple of questions. About? That? A part near a jeweler's yesterday afternoon. One that's crime, is it? No, but turning over a jeweler's is. I just bumped into Aaron outside. I wouldn't give me the time of day. You did tell him I tried to make it, right? Oh, I, it's not you. Apparently, Gordon's theatrics really got to him today. Hmm. Anyway, I heard that you can go to the court case because the police wanted to talk to you. Can you shed any light on that? Hello? It's nothing, it's just a misunderstanding. Mm. Yeah, those two are looking cosy. Do you think there's something between them again? Probably arguing over who they can fob Moses off on next. Well, you never know. Maybe she's finally becoming maternal. <laughs> New Melod with old age. Are you saying I'm over the hill? Oh, well, you still have your uses. Especially when you put that little penny on. I just hope there's going to be something nice for tea tonight. Yeah, well, we've been busy, haven't we? Look, I've shown today everything's fine. Fine. Charity using my barn to hide her dodgy stuff is not fine. Well, we invite her into our home and this is how she repays us? That's it. Where are you going? I'm going to go and give her a slap. No, 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 you, you don't have to do that. Well, you're clearly not going to... Look, I've told you, everything's fine, and you going over there, you, you're just going to wind her up. Oh, and where did you disappear to? Fixing the fence on the top field. How are you here? Eh? You've just nearly put me into that ditch on the lane, then. Well, you're about my car's outside. No, it isn't. Are you joking me? Well, someone nicked it. Three guesses. <sighs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, watch me pay goals! Oh, what, have I, what have I done this time? I'll give you one guess. Uh, one first prize at a beauty contest. I want my car back. Well, why would I have it? Because it's what you do. No. Look, I haven't touched it. You're my boss. You pay my wages. Not that stupid. <clears throat> If I find out, you watch out to behind this. Maybe you got bladdered last night and just forgot where you parked it. Only trying to be helpful. Any news? Does it look like it? Well, what did the police say? You haven't told them. Well, what can they do? You mean you think Charity took it and you don't want to dob her in? Don't start. She swore it wasn't her. We both know she's a beacon of truth. Stop letting her take you for a muck. This if. Oh, you pathetic. Oh, well, sorry. Right, forget the police. I'm dealing with this myself. Get out of the car. I'm enduring. You get done for GBA. You all can live with that. Well, I can't. So you get in. Come on. Have you stopped, Mark? I think you're right. We've lost them. Yeah, we wouldn't if you'd let me drive. It's supposed to be a girl racer. Well, I was trying to keep a discreet distance. Right, um, let's drive into town. Why? Because they'll have hidden it in the lockup somewhere. What, so we're going to drive around hot and on the off chance of finding the right garage? That's a... You got a better idea? Yes, let's call the police. That's my car. Are you sure? I know my own car. Right. Well, come on, just step on it this time. Don't get us killed. Do you want your car or not? Get in front. Cut him off. Hi, 
Bye, Mom. Yeah, we should be. That's my car. I thought it was my mum's. Well, even if it was, you were driving like a maniac. I mean, how could you be so stupid after what happened to your dad? Sorry. I mean, you're lucky that Kane didn't call the police. I still might. You don't just take things. I was only borrowing it. What, without asking? Well, you sounded like you were busy. What? Well, this morning, you were in the bedroom. I didn't want to disturb you. That was hours ago. Where have you been all day? I went to catch up with some mates. I lost track of time. I'll pay for any damage. You're too right, you will. I'm really, really sorry. I've messed up, haven't I? If you want me to go... Well, of course I... I don't. Just got here. How long are you back for? I don't know. I really missed you. Maybe. Sorry I missed your big day. Don't worry about it. Where are the photos of Dad? The other photos are on the landing. We haven't forgotten him. Oh, Mum, really. It's not a problem. I'm happy you're happy. Good. Thanks. Why didn't you tell me you were coming up when we spoke on the phone last week? Is everything all right? Yeah, of course it is. No, I just fancied getting away from London for a bit. I was due some time off work. and Well, you're always saying how much you want to see me. So what we're we talking? A couple of days, a week? Kane, she's only just got here. Mum! <laughs> Holly! All right. <laughs> All right. Still too late back for your own good. <laughs> Check you out with your new hair. <laughs> He's really missed you. Well, I never have guessed. <laughs> right. Are you hungry? Starving. Right. Let's see what I can rustle up. Do you fancy peeling some spuds? Well, I've got some dents to sort out of my car, haven't I? Well, I'll do them. Oi. What are you up to? How do you mean? Well, you turn a pair out of the blue, you nick my car. I'm not stupid. I'm watching you. <sighs> She's your daughter. Yeah, well, you got your car back. This is a chance to build bridges. <sighs> Holly? We're, um, going over to the pub for some tea if you want to join us. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. See? Was it so difficult? Hi, you all right? Well, things are a bit complicated at the moment. Look, I know how much I owe you and you'll get it. I just need a few more days. Trust me, OK? I've got a plan. You've been through. I couldn't be prouder. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, you. What are you doing there? She told me all about growing up on a farm. Not sure I really believed it till now. Yeah, she uh, never really liked getting around to dirty. She can be a bit of a princess. That's all part of her charm. <coughs> Sorry, charm? You're talking about my sister? <laughs> That's the other thing she told me. You think you're funny? Yeah, cos I am. <laughs> oh, I never get here. Hey, Holes. Missed you. Oh, you should have called. Wanted to see your face. Well, is someone going to introduce me? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Holly's boyfriend, uh... Dean. Pleasure to meet you at last. You never said that you were seeing someone. Well, you didn't ask. Oh, I thought I'd surprise you. But don't worry, I don't expect to stay. I know you want to spend some time with your family. A boyfriend, eh? Well, I can't wait to hear all about you. So what is it you do? Interior designer. That's how me and Holes met. Oh. You're not a boss, are you? Because if you are, she needs a pay rise. I'm not. What, so is she your boss? I like to think of us as equals. This is embarrassing. Stop asking him about his life. They can ask us anything. We've got no secrets, have we? Well, can you all just get lost so I can talk to Dean on my own? Uh-oh. We all know what that means, don't we? Of course I can. Come on, you two. Keen. He takes a bit of getting used to. <laughs> well, you're welcome to join us for some tea later if you'd like to. Cheers, Moira. I might just do that.
What are you doing here? Debt collecting. And I could do without the hassle of chasing after you. Stealing. Mum. I told Charity I'd have to see it to believe it. What's he got to do with it? It's my sister's pub. It wasn't just me. It was Charity's idea. Oh, please. Don't try and dig yourself a bigger hole. Why, Holly? Come on, tell me. You're on the smack again, aren't you? Is that what this is about? No. I'm clean, Mum, I swear. No surprises you're involved in this. What's in it for you, eh? Nothing, obviously, which is why I told Moira about it. Doing over the pub was only half of it. Her first offer was to try and split you two up. What? And who pulled that idea in her head, eh? I'll repeat, cloth ears, not me. I turned her down. Sorry if that dents your precious man ego, but you know what? Kind of over the ex thing. Charity did us a favour. Even if I did have to spy my own daughter to find out the truth. I just kept thinking, what if this was our Debs? How much do you owe? Two grand. That's why this Dean fella turned up yesterday, isn't it? He's not your boyfriend, is he? He was. Before he dumped me. Is there anything you haven't lied about? I was trying to protect you. By bringing a drug dealer into our home. I'm going to kill him. Where is he? Cos battering him is going to help. Yes, it is. He comes into our house, lying his face up, threatening your daughter. He's a dealer. He's targeted her because she's vulnerable. It's not her fault. I really tried, Mum. I didn't tell you because I was too ashamed. I wouldn't have judged you, Holly. You should have called me. That's why you nicked my car. No. You were going to sell it and pay him off. I knew you were lying. You made mugs of us. I didn't know where else to go. What, so you rob from your mum's husband? You steal from my sister's pub? Is that how you treat your family, is it? She'll end up doing a lot worse if we don't pay him off. Oh, you're going to bail her out? Well, if it means she doesn't end up in prison, then, yeah, too right, I will. And it's my money, Keynes. So I'll do what I want with it. She's old enough to fight her own battles. <sighs> Call Dean, tell him to come here and we'll pay him the cash. Here? Yes. And if you can't wind your neck in, then just stay away. and I'll go and meet him. You don't know what he's like. Holly, sit down. If he tries anything, I'll smash his face in. Hey, Keen, stay out of this, please. Hello again. I know who you are and what you've done to my daughter. <laughs> Whoa. No tea this time, then. Take it. Get out. I don't want to see you here again. OK, if that's the way you want it. It is. I'll assume I can trust Two you. Two grand, it's all there. Mummy rescued you, did she? That's really heartwarming. Get out. <laughs> Worth the drive out, then. Pretty sweet for an hour's work. You seen a Holly? Nope. I think she's realised staying out of my way is not a bad idea. Please, Kieran, I can't cope with any more problems. I'm sorry if I'm not overjoyed about having her around. Maybe yeah, she needs me. Does she know that? Because she seems pretty intent on causing bother. I'm sorry. For everything. Yeah? Well, you need to prove it. You are not going anywhere until you pay all the debt off you will. How do I do that? I've not got a job. Today's your lucky day. You've just been hired. What, shoveling cow more. Hey, you want to be grateful you've got someone who cares about you. No, you won't be working here. But she can help out at the garage. She's a trained mechanic now, is she? Yeah, I'm sure there's something she can do, like answering the phones or some paperwork. <sighs> right, fine, go on. 
been taken care of, but she's been taking drugs again. What? Since when? I don't know. I've just had to pay her dealer off. <sighs> but she swears to me she's clean. Yeah, like we ain't heard that one before. Yeah, well, I, I believe her. For now, anyway. I knew something was up. I should have guessed. I'll talk to her. No, no. I just needed you to know. Just need to keep an eye on her. Yeah, of course. Come here. <sighs> if you're going to the petty cash or any of the car keys or any of the customers... All right, I get it. Not that I can do much if I'm not allowed to touch the cars. No, I said the keys. All you're going to be needing is a bucket and sponge for what you're doing. Ross! Show where the car cleaning stuff is, will you? No one said anything about my loser cousin working here. I'm sure he's very fond of you now. Starting at the top, eh? Get stuffed. I did a bit of telesales work down in London. Fascinating. <laughs> I thought you meant to be some kind of hotshot textile designer. Whatever one of those is. Yeah, after that. Not really got this career ladder thing worked out, have you? I'd be better off on the phone, like Mum said. You'll do as you're told. Don't talk to me like I'm a kid. I'm not. I'm talking to you like you're an ex-junkie who's already tried to steal from me. So get used to it. Have you heard anything from Dean since last night? Not yet. All I want to do is put this behind me and get him out of my life for good. I know. And I'll do whatever I can to help, you know that. So promise me, no more stupid ideas. Have nothing to do with charity. You come to me, right? Morning! You're late. Get cracking if I was you. You've got a debt to pay. Don't be too hard on her today. Well, she brought on herself. I know. Let's just hope it's gone away for good. Meaning? He's asking for more, isn't he? I knew it. Right, that's it. See, this is why I didn't tell you. The last thing I need is you steaming in there and making things worse. We should have never paid him in the first place. Idiots like him don't go away. All right, spare me the I told you so's. I'll deal with it. Yeah, you've done a great job so far, haven't you? Just do me a favour and keep an eye on her today, yeah? Give me more time to figure something out. OK. Just be careful. Don't do anything without me. I won't. Thanks a lot. Getting to be a proper little family run business, this, isn't it? You must be getting soft in your old age. Don't bank on it. Pity, only I've got a sweet deal coming up. You let me stash it up at the farm and I'll cut you in. Not a chance. Take that as a maybe, then, shall I? What? I'm doing what you asked, aren't I? Don't remember telling you to deal with the customers. Well, you weren't here. He was on his lunch break. I was using my initiative. So I can see. Hand it over. Oi! I wasn't stealing it. I was going to give it to you. What's with the phone call? I thought you'd be at work. I'm setting off in a minute, Charity. You do know you just call me Charity, right? Well, that's what you're trying to be, isn't it? So you know about the arrangement? Didn't think I'd find out, did you? Oh, I suppose I hoped. A truckload of stolen gear in a barn. Which they're paying a hefty fee for. And which you're going to give straight to all his dealer after telling me to leave it. I'm dealing with it in my own you're way. You're dealing with it no way. He won't let up, I've told you that. Well, that doesn't help my girl much, does it? And lining his pockets does. Well, it keeps him away and that keeps her clean. Mara, it would do neither. Addiction doesn't disappear because you take away one way of feeding it. I learned that growing up with Shadrach. I don't know what else I can do. I'm scared to find out. I mean, just how far will you go to help her? Just how far will you go to help Debbie? Well, I've not bought drugs down an alley or paid off dealers. 
It's because Debbie's strong. Holly isn't. Yeah, I know that. She's halfway to being completely adult. She's weak. And she's a, a liar and a thief. And she'll say and do whatever she needs to to get what she wants. But she's my daughter and I love her. I couldn't love her more. So I will do whatever it takes for as long as need be to make sure that she's okay. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, Keen, I don't want you getting involved. Well, I'm getting involved, so deal with it. Trust me. I won't do anything stupid. Ah! The look of you. To apologise for earlier. Have we spoken tomorrow? Apology, no. I've spoken tomorrow, yes. What do you want? Those keys for that van for a starter. Not at me. Yes, it is. Oh, at last. Someone. Do us a favour, will you? Doubtful. What? Give us a hand with these. It's killing my back getting up and down in there. And that'll be because you're old. Yeah, probably. Well, struggle. Oh, come on. It's, it's only going to take a few minutes. Well, no, it won't, because I'm not doing it. Put money stale if you're geriatric. What are you doing? Get off me! Jane! Get off me! What are you doing? Stop! Open it! Open the door! No, you are in so much trouble and you're dragging your mum into it and I'm not having it. Have you got your phone? Yes, I have! And I'm calling the police! No. You're calling your greedy boyfriend. You call anybody else? And I'm going to run this straight into a wall with you in the back of the van. Right? Right? Yes, right! OK. Good. Now, I'm going to tell you what to say. Hiya, this is Charity Dingle from Home James Haulage. Yeah, I've just seen one of my trucks get stolen. Hey, hey. You need to get a bus pass because you obviously can't drive. I'm black and blue. Well, maybe you shouldn't stick needles in your arm. Oh, you know nothing about that. You've really hurt me. Go and sit in the front. Holly, get in the front. Somewhere I need to be. Yeah, well, I've told you where to be. What a loser you are. Well, what can I say? When I was a kid, I wanted to grow up to be a junkie dealer thief just like you, but hey, Things don't always turn out, do you? Oh, they? yeah, well, look at you, Kane flipping Zuckerberg. Shut up. Oh, dear, does Kane not like it? Look, I'm trying to help you out here. Now, please, go and sit in the front of that van. She never said you were involved in this? Well, I am. We didn't give you a load of cash for you to come back scrounging for more. You didn't give it to me at all. Your wife did. Why you just stood there like this. So is you asking for it back? Good luck. If I wanted it back, you'd be hanging upside down with your pockets empty right now. Is that what you think? I'd be using them to hit you with. Now, in that van, there's loads of electrical stuff. Blenders, juicers, iPod docks, all sorts. It's yours. Nicked? No. I had an Argos voucher. And you're doing this why? Because it suits me. On this occasion. What's the catch? The only catch is, if you ever Ask her for anything again. I'll be bringing me mop to clean up what's left of you afterwards. And Destak's over there. Plus hiding in there, are they? I didn't check. Why don't you take a look?
You drive the car back, yeah? Oh, I've decided to say hello, have we? Get back in the van. You'll be in another van if you fall for this. A police van. Will I now? He's setting you up. I don't know how, but he is, I swear. That's hurtful. Well, it would be if it was true. Why is she saying it, then? Because I know what he's like. And you know what she's like. When was the last time you trusted her? What's the matter with you, eh? Me? I'm halfway to being adult. I thought you knew. Oh, I get it. I hurt your feelings, so you're going to ruin your life on the strength of it. Again. I had him off your back. I don't think she wants me off her back, do you, Holly? Why don't you do one? I will. Wanna come? No, she doesn't. You come with me and you can do what you like. You go with him and what? You live like a kid at your mum's again. Well, at least she lives. Yeah, but it's not really living, though, is it, Holes? Tell me we didn't have a good time. Could be the same again. Better. And all your needs catered for. It's up to you, Holly. But Encania seems like a real treat to be around, so I can see why you're undecided. He's just a no-mark. Ooh, my mistake. Slags me off like he knows the first thing about my life. Well, I do, believe me. And he turns my mum against me as well. I heard her earlier. She's weak. She's pathetic. Did you hear what she said after? I'd heard enough by then, thanks. Holly, we're all standing here in front of a van for the stolen goods. I need to go. Wait! Go. Oh, I'll let go soon enough. When I put her in the boot of the car. I'm not going in the boot. You'll go wherever I tell you to go. Ah. I'll have those keys back. Could have just asked. And I'll have that money that we agreed. You what? Two grand. Well, obviously, you don't have it on you now, but you'll get it. I know. You've not got a chance. Holly hopes you're wrong. Because Chunks here is going to give you a little demonstration of just some of the things he'll do to her if you don't. <laughs> Take a step closer, if I were you. Why, what are you gonna do? Hit him with your handbag? <laughs> you even think about it, I'll break her neck. Dean, you're hurting me. Do it. She'll probably all Dean next week anyway. Nice try. I mean it. The only thing that matters to me is you get in that van and you never come back. <laughs> Second force you can keep her. <laughs> get up and take that! No! You really think I want to be with some skank like you? I'll stick with a van, cheers. Oh, and as for your little story about this being a trap, looks like you're the one who got mugged off. Kane! Wait! Kane, where are you going? I'm going to get my car. Do you think I didn't have all this planned out? Mate, you will not believe it. I only asked for two grand. There must be at least twice that in the back of this. Muppets. It's better not to take long. <laughs> Busy diary. Yeah, Anything's better than being locked up in here with you. What were you even doing here? I've told you. You're shopping him to the police. Yeah, but why me? Because, genius, I reported the van stolen. No time to shine. <sighs> Hello, police. Yeah, I'd like to report a dangerous driver. Yeah, he's just nearly ran me and my elderly mother off the road. Yeah, he's in a van. 
Yeah, it's got Home James written on the side in big letters. Yeah, I think he's drunk. Either that or he's on the run. Yeah, he's in the lay-by by Whitebrook Farm. Yes, okay, thank you. This better be worth it. It will be. This is where you get out. What? Okay. Should be enough for your bus by there. What are you talking about? Bus where? I don't give a monkey so long as you never come back. I thought we were going home. Home? Really? Well, like half an hour ago, you are ready to run away with Loverboy. Yeah, I didn't know then he was going to turn into a psycho, did I? He's a drug dealer. Don't mind if you skip the emotional farewells, do you? No, Kim, you're right. You're right, I've been an idiot. But you don't know what it's been like. My dad dying and then coming home and seeing you with my mum. Oh, get over it, sweetheart. Your brother did. Oh, please, Kane, you can't do this. Get over it. But think for a second about what you're doing. You leave me here, what's my mum going to say? You think she'll forgive you? She won't find out. Well, she will, because I'll tell her. Oh, you left me here in the middle of nowhere. Sent me away for good. Anything could happen to me. You sure your marriage is strong enough for that? Because I'm not. Out. You had your chance. Please. Next time, Please. choose your boyfriend's more Stop! Perfect. I'm begging you! I'm begging you. My mum was right. I am weak. And it terrifies me. But if you leave me here now, I know I'll end up going back there. You've seen what he's like, Kane. And if it isn't him, it'll be someone else. Worse. Please don't send me back there. Please. You and Mum. You're all I've got. Right. One last chance. I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for your mum. All I care about is her being happy. You try and blackmail me again. I won't just drag you out of this car. I'll run you over in it. Clear? Thank you. Kane. You know that thing you did to his mate? Can you show me how to do that? Where were you? I've been calling you all day. Soldier. Had a little appointment with that Dean. Well, are you going to tell me what happened? Let's just say we came to a mutual understanding. He's gone. For good? For long enough. There's something else you need to know. Well? Kane was brilliant today. I really owe him. Wow. Never thought I'd hear you say that. Can't believe what a selfish little kid I've been acting like. But I promise I'll never come between the two of you again. Why don't you go and run yourself a bath and I'll put some food on? Well, I don't know what to say. Thanks. Be a start. Well, I still don't know what you did, but whatever it was, it must have been a miracle. Well, let's just say, with any luck, that Dean will be staring at four walls of a cell by now. Him. I watched them cart him off, not to mention a van load of our gear. 
Not that it was strictly ours, I guess. Could look a bit happier about it. I am, I am. I'm sorry, it just feels... What? Too good to be true. I can't believe how bad things have got for her. And yet again, my head's so full of running this place, I didn't even make time for my own daughter. The main thing is, it's sorted now. As it ever can be with Holly. Right, that's me out of here. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh, excuse me. Remember, from now on, everything comes through me. Anyone ever told you you can be very controlling, Kane? You do realise she's got us in her pocket now. Oh, shut up. Come here. Mmm. Mm. Thank you. Better. Right. Could go and have a shower. If you can get in there. <laughs> Oh, you're out then. Kane. I meant what I said. From now on, things are going to be different. Hey. Sure you're okay? How do you mean? What happened with Dean? Kane said you sent him back and I don't know what I ever saw in him. But I know Kane's not the enemy anymore. Complete opposite. You see? Not so bad once you get to know him. Not so bad at all. <laughs> wow, look what's back. Uh, don't put it on your cornflakes. I think I can resist. All right, come on, you. Get a move on. Me? Yeah. Give us an hand at the garage. But you hated having me at the garage. Well, I thought you should give it another go. I'll only breathe down your neck up here. You can answer the phone, I'm broke, can't you? Oh, and I've been promoted from car washing. <laughs> I bet you wish you'd never battered Dan now. Got two more after that. Um, nope, no regrets there. He's laid up when he could be working. Yeah, but now I get peace and quiet. Or at least I did, until your mum came up with the bright idea of you working here. Show me how to throw a punch. Look, you answer the phones and you brew up. We don't do banter, we don't do chit chat, okay? Just one. I mean, if Dean's mate comes back, I might need to be prepared. <sighs> right. Okay. So, make a fist, okay? You always use this middle knuckle because it's your strongest bone, OK? Yep. Too far this side, you could snap one of these two. Right? So you make a stance. No. no, no, no. Right. Come on. <laughs> make a stance. Oh, yeah. Oh. OK. Right, one foot forward, one foot back. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Right. Yes, yes. OK, don't tense your muscles. No, 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 no. don't straighten your elbow. Right? OK. Right, now, you got to turn your hips and smack him right in the nose or jaw, OK? And again, turn your hips and smack him right in the nose or jaw. Nice. Not a problem. Well, let me try it out, then. On me? You won't get anywhere close. You have got nothing to worry about, then, have you? Hello? <sighs> Sorry. Goodness, are you all right? Yeah, it's OK. Uh, I knew she was doing that. <laughs> Impromptu self-defence lesson. Ah, are you made of steel or something? Um, I think we still owe you for a service. Oh, I'll check in a minute. Might want to put some ice on that. Hmm. Okay, all right. He was supposed to move. Don't worry, it's pride's worse than his face. Hang on a minute, I had Ashley yaddering on. I got distracted. You took out Dean's mate, I took out you. Well, that makes me harder than both of you, right? How's your hand? Throbbing. Yeah, rest my case. Well, apart from the fat lip, how did I do? Well, you know, we've had worse. Oh, I might be back then if you need me, in the future. What does that mean? That I might have decided not to go back to London. If you'll have me. Well, of course we will. We'd love to. I want to work my debt off. 
Let me everything up to you both. Consider me at your beck and call. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Don't worry, I know the rules. No banter, no chit chat. Yeah, no punching the boss in the face. I'll try and keep my hands to myself. Well, welcome home. Hi. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, no, of course not. How are you doing? Good. Except I'm going mad just dusting around. I was hoping I could come back to work. OK. His birthday, is it? No one's. Ooh, fine postmark. Get you. France? This is from Debbie, isn't it? You shouldn't be touching that. She's getting cards from my kids I've not seen since the start of the year. Whereabouts in France are they? When Debbie wants you to know, you'll know. Have Jack and Sarah written in that card? Hi. Great. Do you know what, it's funny how she sends you a card this year. She never bothered before. Obviously, they're missing us as much as we miss them. Mm. Doubt it. Don't mind me. By the time you finish it, I can meet you in the pub in a bit. Yeah, OK. Oh, well, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll give you a ring later. What are you doing? Nothing. I was just checking something. Not stupid enough to leave his search history on there, is he? No, I'm just on my way. OK, you ready? Yeah. See you later. Maybe. Don't work too hard. He looks so unhappy. Yeah, well, he's boss on himself. What did he do that was so bad? I'm sorry, but it just seems so harsh, stopping someone from seeing the kids. All right. I'm not the only one who thinks so. I know my mum feels the same way. Do you know what? As lovely as... I brought my work on like that. You'd have a fit. Mm. The blades are jammed. Why don't you get Andy to fix it? Because I'm hoping it just needs a good clean. I know the feeling. There isn't anyone in the bathroom, is there? If there is, it means we're being burgled. Looking for something. About loyalty? Yes, it is. I'm your husband, and you chose him before me. Well, I felt sorry for him. But he's pining for them. It's cruel. Well, I should have thought about that, then, shouldn't I? Oh, will you listen to yourself? Like, you've never put a foot wrong in your life. Debbie doesn't want him near them. Yeah? Well, this is going to come as a massive shock to you, but Debbie can't always have what she wants. Mary, you know what he did? She's got good reason. Yeah, I know she's angry at Ross, and Andy's getting caught in the crossfire. OK, how would you feel if someone stopped you from seeing Debbie? I mean, at least you can speak to her on the phone. At least you know she's safe. And what if one of them got ill or hurt? I mean, Andy's their dad. I mean, they'll be missing him like crazy. But if I have to do without him, so can he. You're back early. Kane gave me the rest of the day off. He's gone to the pub. Oh. I'm surprised I didn't take you with him. We're so close these days. Why did you tell him that I was looking at his laptop? I didn't want to. All oh, right. So it just blurted out of you by mistake, did it? The charity put you up to this? No. Then why would you deliberately go behind my back like that when you know how much trouble it would cause? Well, you're always having to go at me for lying. This is different. Why? 
Because it's you doing it? No, because I know what it's like not to know where your children are. Oh, here we go. To have no idea if they're safe or if they're alive or dead. You're turning it around on me again, as usual. No, I'm not. I'm trying to make you see how cruel it is. Andy's got every right to know where his kids are. Yeah? Well, if you're so sure you're in the right, then why are you sneaking around behind your husband's back? Why not just have it out with him? Pile the hog when you're ready. Bag it off. Can I have something else? We've got bottles. Fine. Well, you better get comfy. This could take a while. But then, hey, I've got nothing better to do than run around after you lot all night. Looking all sad, sat there on your lonesome. Mind you, you're good at that, aren't you, eh? Playing the sympathy card. Looked a treat on my missus for a start. It wasn't like that. That's exactly what it was like. And Maura fell for it because she's got a soft heart. But it's not her you've got to convince. It's Debbie. And she doesn't want you near them kids. You haven't turned over a new leaf. People don't get left half dead on the roadside for nothing. That wasn't my fault. And now you've upset me as well as our Debbie. And I haven't got a soft heart. Do you know, I was almost beginning to feel sorry for you, just for a split second. But now you've got them blown it. Good luck finding your kids. Suppose you want these back then? Nah. What do you mean I can keep it? Anybody else nicks my car, break the legs, you? You just think I'm gonna give it you. Go on, I suppose you've been needing them. For what? So you can go to the shop, get me some cans. Keep your change. And not the car. So how was she? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Kids were running riot. Did I hear you blow kisses down the phone? No. Yeah, you did, I heard you. Shut sure, up. So. <laughs> so, did you mention Andy? Yes, I said I would. And? <laughs> she wasn't best pleased me fighting his corner, but she's agreed. So, you know, I can pass a number on. There, you see? Now, how hard was it to do the right thing? <sighs> this is a one-off. We'll see. Birthday cake for breakfast. Yep, it sure is. <laughs> Go on then, make a wish. Uh, okay. Boom! Already granted you got the day off on us. We're covering so you can put your feet up. Huh? How does Aaron feel about that? Well, it's not Aaron's birthday, is it? Oh, thank you. We might have to sky bath, though. I'll treat you to lunch. Mm. I won't argue with that. Oh, thank you. Oh, come on. You are not fooling anyone. What? <laughs> he's pretending that he's forgotten. I'm playing it cool since we woke up. <sighs> Seriously? Um, <clears throat> I thought it was in a few days. <laughs> well, want to be you right now. Yeah, nice try. The jeweler's just rang, said your order's ready to pick up. See? I knew it. Thanks for ruining my surprise. She doesn't know what she's getting, does she? It's cool. Birthday girl? Oh, cheers. How does it feel, a big 5-0? I've not got a clue, cos I'm 45. That's the spirit. Even after Debbie's card? I mean, come on. Well, I knew it was coming. I was just a couple of days out. But that saved my skin. You do realise you are actually going to have to buy some jewellery now, don't you? Yeah, I've managed to work that one out, thanks. Happy birthday. Aww. Sorry I'm late. Hey, how are you getting on with your space hopping ninjas? You what, what? Time travelling. Started selling action figures online. <laughs> and they're actually doing quite well on the fun side, it's all right. Ill from your wife's birthday lunch. Well, she's had a lunch and she knows I'm popping out. Decided what you're going to get yet? Yes, something shiny. <laughs> That's it, I'm coming with you. Look, I can cope on my own. Look, it's going to have to be something good after all this build-up, you but know. She says she's not bothered. <sighs> she's bothered. Yes. Come on, we'll eat enough as it is.
Cheers, Mum. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mm. This is my special order, is it? All right. Sorry, it's a bit late. Oh, shouldn't have gone to any trouble. Well, I did. Because you're worth it. Oh, Kane, this is gorgeous. Don't sound so surprised. Oh, oh it's perfect. Thank you. Oh. You don't... totally bailed him out, didn't you? Oh, it's her birthday. I felt bad for her. Yeah, I'm for Kane. <laughs> See? Who's mellowed now? Yeah, well, he makes her happy. I got over it. I told you he's all right. Yeah, he is. She's lucky to have him. <laughs> well, I'll get the drinks in. You sit there. Well, I'm not your cattle that needs herding. Uh, sit down. I'm just going to go and have a word. Wait, is that Pete? I haven't seen him since we were kids. Pete? Well, I'm Holly. Do you remember me, or...? Hey. Glad to see you back. Just thought I'd say hello. Hello. Last time I saw you, you, uh, fell over in a cow pack and cried your eyes out. No, you pushed me. Or Ross. I don't know which. Save money's on Ross. Oi! And it wasn't me crying, it was Finn. Two pints and an orange juice. Mm hmm Murray didn't waste any time, did she? Just serve. Looks like she's having a lovely little catch-up with Pete. So, I just wanted to draw a line under things and say welcome home. And I hope this is a fresh start for all of us. Yeah. So. Come on. Why don't we sit with Pete? Yeah, Mum. Surprised you had the bottle to come back. Yeah, well, I'm just minding my own business. So why don't you do the same? Well, 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 she is my business. Where did you leave us in? I think that's a good idea. No one around here wants you anymore. <laughs> you got a death wish or what? Kim. I'm going. All right? I'll see you out. Then so will I. No. Me and Pete, we need a private chat. Since when did you do what he tells you? It's complicated. You're going to have to help me out here, because I can't work this out. OK, I'm going. I asked you to stay away, and the next day you pop up in my kitchen so you're either thick or sick of living. Which one is it? Well, I'm off to Scotland soon, all right? <laughs> <laughs> You're going tomorrow. Strong coffee, please, Brenda. Oh, you look like you need one. Well, James is in France and Andy's off gallivanting with his women again. I'm supposed to have a meeting with Chrissy this morning. Well, everyone's entitled to a day off every now and then. Every now and then? I've hardly seen Andy since he took up with Chrissy. You know, maybe you should put your foot down. Mm. Fancy putting on a posh frock tonight? Oh, why? There's a networking event in Leeds. Oh, room full of lawyers. Uh, I think I'll leave you to it. Well, I don't have to go, but it's while I'm off work. Honestly, it's fine. Me and Amber will have a little girly night in. Oh, are you uh, not supposed to be at work? Oh, I'm sorry, love. Something came up. I'll make up the time. Is there a problem? Well, I don't know what to do with her. Well, I know all about Jeannie's daughters if you need some advice. <sighs> Phil. Well, I thought she was more sensible than that. Obviously not. You're talking about Belle? Seriously? What is wrong with her? Who is this bloke, anyway? Is that still on? She told you about him. Holly, come here a minute. If you know something... I don't. Well, not really. Right, I'm going to sort this. That's not a good idea. Look, she's having unprotected sex. If you weigh in now, It'll just push her even further away. Maybe you could talk to her. What? Spy on her? No, I don't think so. Oh, please, love. It'll put Lisa's mind at rest. I need to know who she's getting involved with. Yeah, we all need to know. OK, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, love. Right. I'd best be getting to her. I'll see you out. Thanks. See ya. 
Listen, you find anything out, you tell me first, yeah? Why? Because she's my sister and I've done enough for you recently, Anna. Yeah, I suppose you have. You can rely on me. Good. And uh, don't tell Priya. She's not big on me drinking at lunchtime. Ah, oh, well, the cat's away. <laughs> Something like that. Has uh, Belle told you her news? What? The cordial. It's been shortlisted for a business award. And according to Rishi, well, she's got real potential, always coming up with new ideas. Yep. She thinks she's dead clever, doesn't she? How do you mean? Never gonna guess what Liv's done now. Hijacked the school PA system and then locked herself in the bathroom. I wish Kieran was around to share in the success. I'm sure you'll let him know. Hijacking the school's PA system. You gotta laugh. Yeah, you might. It's not your problem. Oh, let me guess. Sweet little Liv. All she does is wind me up. Then put your foot down. Mm, yeah, cos telling kids what to do always works. Wait, uh, you didn't like No, I've got to go to the school. Liv's locked herself in the toilets. Why? A miscarriage of justice, according to her. Uh, well, maybe later, then. Later, I'll still be dealing with this one. You still here? I thought I should let you know. I need to hang around for a few weeks. What, do you think I was bluffing? Ian? Send it me again if you want. Was that down to you? Well, I'll leave as soon as I can. But until then, I swear, I mean, I'll stay out your way. That's all we need to know, isn't it? We had an agreement. We agreed nothing. And why was that? Because you don't trust me. Of course I trust you. Yeah? And start acting like it. Why aren't you at the garage? Me and Belle had lunch together. And? I don't know. But she told me things in confidence. It's her life. No, 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 wait. It's me and her mums and all. And we're responsible for her. I thought I could rely on you. This bloke. He's married. What? Well, she reckons he's really nice. You know, not a sleaze or anything like that. So what's his name? Well, she didn't say. Well, a lot of you, you are. Well, she's seen him again tonight. Where? That's all I know. What are you going to do? First, I'm going to work out who he is. Then... OK. Well, Belle has, hasn't it? Well, she has now. Can't you take this seriously? Excuse me, I helped to get the morning after pill. What? And why didn't you tell me and Lisa about that? Because she swore me to secrecy, didn't she? I mean, what would you rather I did? Tell her to leave it to potluck and have a drop of sprog for Christmas? No thanks. Hey, congratulations. Cheers. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> nice one. What's that? I'll well, find out soon enough. <laughs> Right, looking for an hour and lives here. I don't think he lives here anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Good riddance, eh? Hey. Yeah. Right, come on. Oh, come on, it's a well here. Yeah, I know it is. Now get it down, you otherwise you're not a proper dingle. I'm sure this Are you? Well, I'm sure this isn't a proper thing, is it? Do you have to do this? I let him see me naked, so pick one. <laughs> <laughs> go on, man. Go on, go on. Yeah! 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 Oh, come on, man. 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 Come on, if Aaron can manage a well, he's sure you can manage a little shoe. Hmm. All this free, is it? Yep. While it lasts. <laughs> mm, see, that's lasting. What? Tying up it is then, eh? Yeah, been all over him. Yeah, well, that's charity being charity. Yeah, an old slapper. Don't you mind being like that with him? Well, I'd prefer him not to, but it doesn't really matter because I know he's happy with me, like I am with him. Are you? Don't you be drinking out of other women's shoes? Well, neither was it? Thank you. I don't think you. I don't really do funerals if I can help it. Yeah, but what if no one goes? Good. She wasn't too keen on attention, was Edna? Well, bye then. <sighs> mm. Bye. Oh, get off me. You're really looking forward to Monday, aren't you? Well, you memorise my wedding anniversary? No, cos it's mine on the same day as well, you selfish div. Which one? There are three of them. Declan! Oh, right, yeah, the one who tried to bump me off. White wine, thanks. Yeah, in a sec. 
But at least Declan had more oomph. I mean, I bet you and her in the smelly overalls are going to be celebrating with a, a TV dinner and a sloppy fumble on the couch. Well, it works for me. <sighs> yeah, right. Since when? Since I found the right woman and she married me. What? I stopped by the pub. I put my bag near Charity and she might have seen them. Well, you think she took them? I oh, know. But she was arguing with Kane about your anniversary. Why? What's to argue about? I don't know. But they were in my bag and now they're not. Well, you should be able to print off some replacements. Well, what about a refund? Yeah, right, whatever, thanks. No joy? Nope. Once they're gone, they're gone. And the concert's sold out, so it's not as if I can buy another pair. <clears throat> Happy anniversary. It's a toolbox. Well, open it. <sighs> Keen. They are beautiful. What's this? The lakes. Mm hmm You, me, a jacuzzi, and no swimming causes allowed. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? It's perfect. It's just... You forgot, didn't you? No, of course not. All I got you was a card. Uh, I am getting more from you than a card. Uh, I'm right here. You can count on it. I get lost. What? Right. I'm gonna go and open my card. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. Why didn't you tell him about Charity taking the tickets? Because I'm gonna get them back. You bought that rust bucket with or without you. Yeah, well, I still want a cup. Uh, wait, I need that money to take your mum out for a meal tonight. I don't care. Right, you ready? Give us about five minutes when I go and have a shower. Listen. I got you some Noel Gallagher tickets for our anniversary, but don't get too excited. It's Charity stole them. I left them near her at the pub and, well, they disappeared from there. <laughs> and you seriously think she took them? Why don't you? <laughs> Great, next you'll be defending her. Just calm down. No, she took them. Look, if she wants them, she can have them if she's that desperate. I mean, what kind of loser steals concert tickets? That's what I said. She'll have to sell one of them anyway. She'll find no one to go with. I love you. Mm. Right, give me five and let's get this anniversary started. Okay. I'm there to together. And uh, one of those as well, yeah. <clears throat> Porridge. Since when have you gone all healthy? Someone watching the waistline. Shut up, will you? Well, I could put some blueberries in it or honey. It's supposed to be good for antioxidants. Do you know what? Just forget about it. Well, I've opened it now. Don't go whether you pebble dash your face with it. Not paying. There you go. Hi. Hello. Not been shot. Get any better suspects? Yeah, actually, I'm looking at one. Me? Yeah. A pair of tickets like that could keep you in smack for a whole week. Mm, except I'm not using any more, though, am I? Of course you're not. What about you? Still on the game? <laughs> Silly me. Well, you'd have to pay them now, wouldn't right, you? Right, Holly. You did sort of ask for that. Adam, who else? He swore blind he was going to help me load the van up for this afternoon's job. Only guess what? He's vanished off the face of the planet. Mm -hmm. Which is why, when I do find him, I'm going to kebab his lying tongue with a skewer. Do you want to go for his sweet meat? Far more tender. What if Holly was to help you? <sighs> Holly? Well, she can drive, and quite frankly, if she's bored enough to help Keen out on her day off, who knows what she can get up to. And you two might really head it off. Mm. No, she can't. Says who? Says Moira, actually. So you might be able to give me a hand, seeing as your useless brother's left me in it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Holly, please say yeah. Look, I'll pay you and everything. Well, I suppose I could spare a few hours. I guess you'll have to make your own brew. Maybe ask for porridge, cos he's worried about his cholesterol. Kin. Well, they do say oats are supposed to help. Hey, you finally turned up, did you? Uh, yeah, can I have a quick word? Um, Big flow has gone missing, like over 100 quid. What? Well, when did that happen? Oh, just now. But the thing is, Polly, she was the last one to look after it. You can't think she took it. She wouldn't. Yeah, well, she would if it was for drugs. 
Yeah, but she's not on drugs. So what? Nothing else has gone missing lately. You were out late last night. Yeah, went into town. Met a few mates. Which mates? Your dealer mates. No. Why would you say that? Well, I'm just saying, you know, what else are you going to spend the money on? What money? The hundred quid missing from Vic's van. We're not saying you took it. Well, he is. Yeah, only because there's no one else that could have. Adam, she's my sister in law. I wouldn't nick anything off her. Sweetheart, we're not angry, we're just worried. So if you've got your problem again, then you need to talk to us. I'm clean. I told you I was. Listen, Holly's been around a lot more than 100 quid at that garage. If she was that desperate, she'd have taken it, wouldn't she? And it's all still there. Yeah, only because you would have killed her if it wasn't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she just didn't take it. I want to tell you that I love you and I want you to be my girl, oh, darling. Let's walk. Uh, will you test me? For what? Uh, I'm trying to revise that math GCC, but it's not going in. If you tested me, it might. I'll get me dinner instead, then, shall I? Yeah, why don't you do that? Where's Holly? You're taking up on her? Oh, I'm a bit worried. How's she been today? Fine, why? I searched her room. Oh, gee. Well, you can't ignore the signs. So where is she? Well, I ain't got much work on, so I gave her the afternoon off. You're supposed to be keeping an eye on her. Well, you didn't say that. Do I have to spell it out? Yeah. She was out in town last night. She, she could have been anywhere, maybe meeting some dealer. She might be smoking that poison right now. You don't know that for sure. Well, can you help me find out? Please, go and find her. Talk to her, cos she might tell you stuff that she wouldn't say to me. <sighs> what can I get you? Nothing. This is a cafe, not your front room. Fine. I'll have two teas. Please. OK? Yeah, pretty good. Seems to have perked up a bit. Have you seen your mum? Well, she thinks I'm a thief. Oh, you know what mums are like. Don't worry. How come you believe me and she doesn't? Because she knows you better than I do. I really didn't do it. But I know who did and I've got her back. Her? Who? Who's that? Charity. Oh, I should have known. What have you done to her? Is she alive under there? I didn't do the mask, just the hair. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to ask me to bury the body for a minute there. What do you have done? I'm a lot of bad incestors in me. <laughs> Is her hair going to go that colour or what? I think so. Either that or it'll drop out. <laughs> it won't be chuffed that it's sorted. If she believes me. Your word against charities, no contest. We'll see. Well, if she doesn't believe, you can always die her. <laughs> this is you, isn't it? All right, Nana, nice blue rinse. I am going to kill you. No, I don't think so. You got what you deserved. Yeah, pay back for the money you took. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you got off lightly. Now, you leave her alone from now on. Do you hear me? Fine. Look, if you, I can pull this off. Yeah. Of course you can, Nana. Thanks. No problem. Why are you so nice to me? Like, getting me to Dean, giving me a job, this. Uh, excuse me, I am not nice. Don't go telling that to anyone. But you are. Oh. To me, you are. Holly, what are you doing? Two more. Thanks. Easy. You suggested a drink. I suggest 15. Do you think she's gone yet? I'm giving up trying to guess what she's going to do. Well, should I call her? No. Why? Because you feel guilty? Yeah. yeah well, she wants you to, and she'll only make you feel more guilty, and you shouldn't. I was a thanks, yeah, my man. For what? 
fun asking the question. You know, when she came on to me. There wasn't any need. Are you sure I've done the right thing? <sighs> yes. Then tell me she'll be fine. She's going to be fine. Bedroom's not been touched. All the things are still here. Not the lack of surprise on my face. What well, do you think she's left it? I don't think she's gone. Well, maybe we can sort this out, Keen. I felt like we had. I, I know. I mean, maybe I could just make her see that she needs to do better. Well, she's well aware of that. She just doesn't care. That's why she tried to kiss me. Yeah. Where did that come from? <sighs> right. Uh. I don't know how to put this. I'm not being big headed like, but I think she had a bit of a thing for me, as opposed to deliberately trying to stir things up. I don't know what's better or worse. I mean, do you think I overreacted? I mean, I pretty much said she was dead to me. Hello? Yeah. Right. OK, thanks. What's wrong? It's Holly. She's been rushed to hospital. She's taken an overdose. How is she? She took an overdose, did they tell you? We've treated her with a drug called naloxone, which is designed to combat an opioid overdose. First of all, helping to return her breathing to normal. She's not breathing normally? She is now. Or somewhere close. Did she try to kill herself? We'll talk to her and evaluate her mental health. So what now? Yeah, can I see her? Holly's not quite ready for that. But you said she was breathing OK. What I mean is, she's requested you not be allowed in. Why? Uh, we had an argument, and obviously she's been through serious trauma, but the drugs alone mean that she can't be thinking straight. We do have to respect her patient's wishes. I'm sorry. We'll let you know if there's a change of any kind. Thanks. <laughs> Why won't she see me? She will, in time. And she might die? She won't die. Yeah, but the things I told her... I told her to get out. I kicked her out of her own home. I mean, he's right. This is down to me. I should have listened and given her a chance. She was sucking up heroin. What was that doing? Strolling around the cafe from the pub to... like we're on some weekend away or something. There's no way she was. There's nothing you could have done. Uh, I could have at least phoned her. She must have been so desperate, Kane. <laughs> Why didn't she call me? <laughs> How long did I sleep for? Not long. About an hour. Any news? Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I'm, uh, I'm Holly Barton's mum. I, I know she requested no visitors, but... Do you know if she's awake yet? Give me ten minutes and I'll go and check for you. Yeah, we'll just let her know that I'm still here and I'm desperate to see her. to tell you, but I don't think you're gonna like it. What? She did call when we were in the cafe. She left a message on your phone. But I deleted it. She seemed upset. I didn't listen to that much. Then why did you delete the message? <sighs> Because I knew you'd hear how upset she was pretending to be and you'd cave in like you always do. She was calling for help and you deleted it. You waited until she was out of danger till you tell me. You are the reason that she doesn't want to see me. I ignored her cry for help all because of you. She might have died. She didn't. I know, thanks to you. Where are you going? To see my daughter who has been lying in there all night thinking I left her to die. 
thinking that I don't love her. No. You stay here. Where are you going? Leaving. Holly, please don't go and get drugs. Don't do it. I'm begging you. It's not that. I just want to go. What is it? I thought we were going to sort this out together. Is this down to you? We had words. But he tried to talk me out of it. But I told him it's for the best. That's what she wants. No, it's what you want. All I've done since I've been back is screw up. He's right. You're better off without me. He's my husband, but he doesn't speak for me. And you're not going anywhere. Come on. Please, come on. I'm sorry, mate. You told Holly that it would be better if she killed herself somewhere else. Can you imagine what that was like to hear? You wanted a gun. I told her the overdose didn't change anything. She came crying to you, and she's trying to split us up. Oh, you're doing a pretty good job of that yourself. You deleted a message on my phone when she was calling for help. You don't really get addicts, do you, what they're capable of? What are you talking about? You have no idea how dark it got with her. I wrestled her in that room with John till she was clean. Yet you went out and you scored for her. What if that happens again only this time? You get yourself arrested. It won't happen again. Look, I gave her the money to leave. Said it was her choice. She chose the money. Why do you think that was? Because she knows you don't want her here. Because she's an addict, Moira. She's an addict. She cares more about drugs than she does her own family. Well, I have told her that I don't want her to leave. <sighs> then she's going to hurt you in ways you can't imagine. What do you think you are saving me from? Whether she dies a million miles away or right here in my house, it is going to destroy me. I'm just supposed to watch you, watch her die. Do nothing. I am not giving up on her. That's exactly what she's counting on. And this here right now, us arguing, is what she wants because she wants you to herself. I'm her mother! She's your blind spot. And she's playing to it. Don't make me choose. I won't. Ever. I would never do that to you. But ask her the same. See what she says. <laughs> you won't, will you? This is useless, you know. I can't stand by and watch you do this. Wait, 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 it's the junkie daughter. You can't live with her anymore. You've made Moira choose, haven't you? Only she didn't pick you. And there we have it. You got through a week's work, it's not even lunchtime yet. Yeah, it's the upside of stress. Well, go easy on yourself, yeah? You've had a shock. I heard back about rehab. Four weeks until they can see her. Four weeks? Well, we got her through it last time, didn't we? Oi, this isn't your fault, all right? You were there for her last time and you'll be there again. But oh, you got Kane now. Have I? He's left. Would you left us in what? He didn't come home last night. Says he can't do this. Well, because of Holly. Before it gets too messy. Messy? 
What do you mean, messy? Messy for who? How selfish is that? Yeah, you no, know, he goes on like he's the big man, yeah, in control of everything. Then when push comes to shove, he does a runner. The guy's pathetic, man. Where are you going? Where do you think? Adam! Adam! Bernice is lucky he's only a shoes. Chaz has got a full house to clean. Oh, to be a 14-year-old girl again, eh? Oh, it had its moments. Ta. Ah. You are displaying all the signs of an old-school bender. And there was me worrying that you'd gone all new man and worrying about your feelings and stuff. Yeah, I think I liked it more when you spoke less. You should break up with Moira more often. Oi, where? <laughs> You'll be lucky. So what? Things get a little bit rocky and you take off, yeah? What's that about? You know, imagine if it was your precious little Debbie that had an addiction. Would you see my mum trying to chuck her out? Would my mum leave you because you stopped by your own kid? <laughs> what, you got nothing to say for yourself? <laughs> my sister's... My sister's an addict, Kane, OK? My mum's always going to stand by no matter what. Now, if you haven't got the backbone to support her through this, then she's better off without you. We all are. Hey, tell you what, do me a favour, will you? When this is all sorted, don't even think about crawling back, cos you're not welcome. What makes you think he'd come crawling back? It wasn't long ago I was where Holly was. Do you remember? Go away, Laurel. You offered me money to leave the village and never come back. Pity you didn't go. Well, if I'd gone, like you wanted, I'd be dead by now. At least you wouldn't be bothering me. Kane, I don't know if I'll ever drink again, but what I do know is that there's always hope if you've got people around you who love and believe in you. Did you not hear what I said? I've been thinking about it. You paying me off. I know why you did it. You were trying to protect Marlon. Because when you were a little boy, you weren't protected. Were you? You must have seen some awful things. And that is why you behave like you do. But listen, not every addict is like Shadrach. I said go away. I'm not. And nor's Holly. She's just a young girl, so don't push her away from her family because you're worried that history's going to repeat itself because it is her family that's going to get her through this. And if she goes, it won't be the drugs that kill her. It will be because of you. Not back for his lunch, then. He'll be back after work. I know he will. Do you mind if we don't talk about this right now? I'm so sorry, Mum. Hey, stop saying that. But I need you to promise me one thing. That you will go to counselling and you'll stick to it. And you will come to me first whenever, if ever, you get the urge to use. I will. Then I will do my damnness to get you through this. I'll do anything, Mum. Anything. I'll just... It's... Is this you at back, or is this you forgetting something? I did forget something. I forgot how much I love you. She's promised to get help, Kane. And I... I have to support her in that. We... have to support her. Oh, I was just, uh, just bringing this in to you. Oh, believe me, I would love to stay in bed for the rest of the day. Thanks. 
So, um, <clears throat> we're all right then? Yeah. Don't make a habit of it, though. You know what I'm like. Things don't go my way. First thing I do is run out the door. I was, um, I was wrong. She's your kid, and I, I should have let you call it. Well, you're home now, anyway. Holly will be so relieved. Where is she now? Giving us some space, I'm guessing. Is that why? Look, she's... She's not out scoring her out, is she? Well, she's told me that she's not using it, and I believe her. And when does counselling start? Four weeks. Waiting mm -hmm. list. I'm Amy. Oh, stay oh. in, then. Better believe it. There you go. Get a garage to run. Mm. Bye. Yeah. See you later. Bell can't know this came from me, remember? Just Bluetooth me those photos, will you? Yeah. I just want this creep to get what's coming to him. It's energy. Just get on with it. Okay. It's done. It's one out. Unless you know the bar. Shift. Please, we don't mind. Huh. Have you any idea how hard it is to get an apartment around here? Can I help you? Is this your wife? I'm, I'm sorry, but who let you in here? I'll ask the questions if it's all right with you. OK. I think we should call someone. No, no, there's no need for that. There's only one question, really. Fine, go on. But make it quick. I'll make it quick. OK. How long have you been sleeping with my 17-year-old sister? I recognise her. She was at the fundraiser. You'd better explain. Oh, talk about timing. It's Bell, isn't it? Don't hurt him. I haven't touched him yet. No. This can't be. You're just a kid. I'm sorry. This is not how we wanted you to find out. Is this a joke? We were waiting for the right time. How long? It's not what you think. Right now, you're the only person in this room who seems to think that, so start talking. I never laid a finger on this girl. Lying's only going to make it worse. The only person in line here is her. She's not my bit on the side or whatever. Really? She's my stalker. Why are you lying? I'm sorry. I can't talk to her. She knows now. This is what we wanted. We knew each other before the fundraiser. She lives nearby. I'm the family doctor. We know she's been seeing someone. Yeah, and in her head, she probably thinks there is some kind of relationship between us. He's lying. I don't know why, but he's lying. You don't love her, Jermaine. You don't have to pretend anymore. No. No, I'm sorry, but my husband is a good man. There's no way he'd get involved with some kid with obvious problems. I'd like you both to leave now. That's a push. I might believe that he encouraged you in some way. Whether he realised it or not, but... It's possible. We've been seeing each other for two months. I know everything about him. If she is stalking you, then... Why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? I don't know. I just thought it would go away. Don't lie to me. The lipstick I found in your car... It was hers, wasn't it? No. <sighs> It's all starting to make sense now. You're wrong. You're wrong. Listen to me. The both of you. She's a troubled girl. Hmm? You must know this. Look at the photo. I guess if you didn't know any better, you'd say we look pretty close, hmm? 
Oh, you think? But this isn't proof of some kind of ridiculous affair. But look at a photo. What do you see? I see a liar. Or a, a, a man at the end of his tether pleading with an obsessed girl to leave him alone. So please, tell me. What do I have to do to get it through to her? So, how was it? All these tests? All right, she's clear and very hydrated. Ooh, Ken Dingle joking about pee. No, nope, there is nothing funny about handling your daughter's morning dregs. You know, that's nice she's passed now, that's something. It's a start. All right? Yeah. Uh, me and Johnny are heading off tomorrow for a bit of a break. But uh, Kerry's running two jobs and Dan's got his studies and they've got a meal here, so... Could you take Kyle, eh, while we're gone? What, and Johnny's just after to dump him here, is she? Uh, no, no, I've convinced her. Well, why would you do that? Well, I've got my regrets about the hurt I've caused. <laughs> but one of the biggest ones is you cutting off your young lad again. Just when you were getting to know him. Right. That lad needs you. Eh? All you need to do is trust your guts as a parent. You know, they say counting sheep works. Eh? You're trying to get me to sleep. See you later. Well, he's right. I won't trust your instincts. The thing is, I don't know what my instincts are. OK, well, it's your call. Whatever you do, I've got your back. And I need you to have my back. How about Holly? Because my gut is telling me that we need to stop putting her through those tests. I've taken the clot and done it on my own rather than tramp the fields with you in silence. Victoria's offered me more work. Wisdom strikes again. Oh, hello, Smiler. Ten missed calls. Why don't you pick it up? Well, you keep it in your pocket, then. Yeah, would you answer your phone if you were me? What's wrong? Chaz. Oh. She gives me the creeps. Every time there's a spot of bother, she's there. Oh, typical. Waltz in when the drama's all over and tell everyone they've got it wrong. She's a nurse, and you know what? She was great. Me and Marlon were flapping around like fools. Why are you being so nice about her? Because she's organising Moses' party tomorrow. <sighs> are you here to support your sister or just get at me? Both. Hello, troublemaker. You all right? I know. Don't be daft. I'd go off my head if I thought I were pregnant by Gordon. Please don't tell Aaron. <laughs> he always says the same about you. He'll only worry. Well, he always says that, I know. Listen. You don't have to go. I can't remember the bar getting smashed up or anything, and that's not right. Well, go on, put your arms around and give her a cuddle, you idiot. Hey. Mm, that does help. <laughs> Jealous? Will you two ever change? Sure she's not playing you. She's clean. And she has done everything that we have asked her to, and I'm at the end of her having to prove herself all the time. She's a grown woman. It's up to you. Yeah, if only you meant that. Okay. Well, I'll still be here when you get back. Is that a threat? Oh. Take care of yourself. Mm. Mm, parting is such sweet. Whatever. Go on, shift your backside. See I was thinking balloons, but little kids hate balloons, so should we just get them a balloon-shaped cake? Thanks. Well, I'll make a farmer out of you yet. Great. <laughs> well, I suppose I should get changed before I go meet Victoria. It's probably best you make an effort. There's a load of clean clothes on your bed. Thanks. All right. Still got you running around after doing a washing, has she? What, like a do yours, you mean? I didn't realise we were having company today. You decide to have them in the end, then? It's not a problem, is it? No, of course it isn't. Family is family, right? <laughs> but it's 
Holly's first day at work today, so if you could try and be a little bit supportive, that'd be great. Right, so we've stopped doing the drug tests on her, and now she's off in a van to a load of festivals, concerts and parties. Yeah. Can't see any problem in that, can you? One goes like this, and this one goes on this side. Right, it's dead easy, simple, OK? And don't look at me like that, because you've got to learn how to do this. I can't have you walking around like a turnip. <laughs> eh? Kane, he's only four. You know what? I'll never live it down, will I? Yep. Hey. Hi. How's it go? Yeah, pretty good, I think. I mean, we're only cleaning the van and sorting stock and stuff, but I reckon I might even enjoy it. Wow. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and I've forgotten what a laugh Victoria is. Mind you, I suppose you'd need a good sense of humour, being married to Adam. <laughs> True. Can you look after him for a bit? Uh, no, not really. I'm in the middle of shearing. Ross is about to brain a customer at the garage. I'm going to have to go and put him on his short leash. You're not keen, are you? You can't just offload him onto me. Well, unless Holly sits with him, maybe. How about not? Kane, Kane, I can't do it. Busy squashing alien invaders with a shoe of justice. Never mind learning how to tie your shoelaces. <laughs> it's important life skills. Hmm. Well, not as important as saving planet Earth. Well, you've always been in your own little parallel world, haven't you? You couldn't tie your own shoelaces until you were eight. Seriously? Yeah, eight or nine, something like that. You've gone to school in your wellies if we'd let you. <laughs> Artistic brain, you see. Too busy being brilliant to worry about the humdrum stuff. Well, I think your memory's gone a bit wonky, hasn't it? Looking for punishment, aren't you? It's supposed to be your day off? Yeah. Well, I was just passing, there's a load of sheep out on the lane. Oh, no. How did they get out? Well, the gate's wide open. Oh, great. And that corner's lethal enough as it is. Can you keep an eye on Kyle? Are you OK to give me a hand? Yeah, sure. Cheers. I totally smashed it! You really are king of the bunny ears. <laughs> Where's your mum? She's in the shower. Hi, mate. I thought we agreed that you were looking after Carl, not Holly. Shall we um, try another pair, Kyle? Come on, let's see if we can do it. We didn't agree anything. You just left him here with me, if you remember. She's not fit to look after him. It's not safe. I told you I was busy. You ignored me and went anyway. Plus, you left the gate wide open so the sheep got out all over the lane. Didn't need to get open. Well, no one else was here, so it must have been you. So Holly stepped in while I sorted out your mess. So you ought to be thanking her, never mind slagging her off. Well, there must be something up with the gate. I'll have to go and fix it then. I eh? fixed the gate. I don't care about the gate, nor the sheep for that matter. But what I do care about is that you start treating my daughter with some respect. I mean, we come as a package, Kane, and if you can't handle that, then you and I have some serious problems. Is he okay? Yeah, it's just off. They mired me for stories. Right. I must have imagined hearing all about the brave little mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what can I say? He's a tough negotiator. Probably does you the world of good having him around. Yeah. Like it does me having Holly here. Kane. Okay, you have got to try with her, or you're going to push her away. Like, she's my baby, and I don't want her here safe with me. Can't we just try to be happy? She's going to let you down. I won't let her slip up again, but she needs me to believe in her. It's not the same as trusting her, though, is it? I do trust her. Well, if I don't, what hope has she got? Oh. Carl can't find his favourite teddy. It's the end of the world, apparently. I left it on the side when I tied it up. <sighs> hey, are you going to wish Holly good luck? It's her first proper day out in the van. Of course. Don't stuff it up. <sighs> the 
Victoria still hasn't heard from her. Why don't you see it? I told you so. Why are you so worked up? You said you trusted her yesterday. Yeah, that's before she went AWOL. Yeah, maybe I am an idiot. I mean, she's probably out there now off her head. Holly, where have you been? Mm, town. <laughs> the shops. What, all this time? Yeah, why didn't you call us and tell us you were staying out? Well, I didn't realise I needed to. Well, where are all your shopping bags, then? I couldn't find anything I like. Let me look at you. Mum? Give me a bag. <laughs> Give it to me. Mum, don't. Mm. Morning, you, Holly. What's this? Gig tickets. It was meant to be a surprise, to replace the ones you lost. Right. Look, the amount of times you've messed up, you can't blame your mum for thinking the worst. Nah, I know. No, it's OK, I get that. I just hope one day you might believe in me. Holly, I'm so sorry. But I... You know, 130 quid. <clears throat> You're joking. For that? A good man to make a pay at herself. <sighs> what? She did offer. Don't be so mean. And anyway, what choice did she have? It was either smash it or leave this one on his own. Isn't that right, sweetheart? I still don't get how she locked herself out. Well, it's easily done. Well, it is if you're her. Hi, darling. I'm just making some breakfast if you want some. Oh, not for me, thanks. I'm running late. Not too late to do your drugs test. What? Oh, I, I forgot about that. It's only take five minutes. Yes, but did, did you not hear what I just said? I'm in a rush. And anyway, I don't need to go. Drink a pint of water? No. We agreed to do this last night. Yeah, but I'm going to be late. You should have got up earlier. If I get the sack, this is your fault. Fine. And you're ringing Victoria. We'll pass your phone, then. Oh, this is ridiculous. On you go, love. Go on, you get off. Hey? Just go. What are you playing at? I'm trying to be reasonable. If she is taking drugs, then there'll still be her system after a shift. What's your problem? I don't know. You tell me. Superb, Marlon. Thank oh, you. Oh, God, you enjoyed it. Any more superlatives? Just bring us the dessert menu, will you? There's some ice cream. Of course he does. Hey. Hey, I tell you what. Why don't we, when we finish up here, go into town and go bowling or something? Make a day of it? Yeah, I'd be up for that. Yeah. Bit we can't, though, because you've got to go back and do this test. What? We're supposed to do it this morning. I know, but... Plus, you've got to get back to the farm. James going to be thinking you've gone AWOL. Well, I'll ring him. I'm sure he can manage the farm for a couple of more hours. And bowling? Bowling? <laughs> Since when have we been bowling? Well, we've never been ice skating either. <laughs> Come on, I'll take you to the loo. Or skiing. You've got some kind of ulterior motive here. What's that supposed to mean? About this test. Excuse me, what are you insinuating? You. You're more adamant than she is about not doing it. Oh, it was ridiculous. That's all, let's go back home and do it then. You're scared, aren't you? Admit it. Yes, I am scared. She's my daughter, for God's sake. And with her track record, I'd say that's quite natural. Moira, it needs to be done. It will. I just, I just wish you'd stop making such an issue of it. Through here, and then I will get you some juice. Excuse me. Where do you think you're going? My room. Yeah. I'm hoping that's via the bog. Oh, come on. This drug test is bordering her on bullying. No, it's fine, Mum. I don't mind, honest. I'm warning you. If this test is clear, it's the last one she does. So I, I can't keep doubting her all the time. I mean it, Kane. I mean, it's degrading. I can't just stand by and watch her being humiliated like this. But you made your point. Good. But if we have to do something about it. Don't you think I know that? Let's just wait for the results, will we? <sighs> well? Negative. Oh. Okay, I told you so. Negative. <laughs> I knew it would be. 
You'd have saved me a whole lot of trouble in there. But remember, this is our little secret, OK? OK, Holly. Good boy. Evening. How are you doing, Eric? Oh, not too well, actually. Looks like you had some of that ale they were serving at that gig. 24 hours later and still criticising. Hang on, I enjoyed myself. We should do it again sometime. Well, so we can leave a certain person alone in the house, can we? We'll see. Little Bird tells me you went to your gig last night. So those tickets turned up after all, did they? No, we went to a covers gig instead, actually. Holly got us the tickets. A covers gig? Well, she must have had to pull some strings for that, surely. I mean, how generous. She looked after Kyle and we get a night out too. And is that wise? I mean, is Joni cool with leaving a grandson with a drug addict? She's away. Really? Well, it's none of my business, obviously. Obviously. However, if it was my kid, well, I'd be a lot more careful. Listen, the day we take child mining advice from you, I'll be in a wooden overcoat. Now, if you don't mind. Seen your mum? Uh, checking feed stocks, I think. <laughs> oh, and in case you're worried, it's still clean. <laughs> Did I make an accusation? No, like I said, just in case. Listen, Holly, me and your mum, you know, we're really pleased that things are starting to work out for you, OK? Thanks. Yeah, well, I'm pleased too. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Problem? Belle's been arrested. Oh. Look, if you see your mum, tell me back soon. Hiya. I need to see you. Yeah, I've got money. I'll call you back later, OK? Oh, you're up early. I thought you weren't working till tonight. Oh, I thought I'd make the most of my time off and do a bit of shopping. I could come with you. You still don't trust me. No, I, I didn't mean that. The last time you went through my bag to check it wasn't full of drugs. Look, I just meant we could make a day of it, have some lunch. Thanks. I know you're really busy on the farm right now. Well, I'm sure James could manage for a couple of hours without me. Well, do you good to have a day out? How did you get blood on your shirt? <sighs> Must have cut myself shaving. Look, I'd rather know if I'm going to need to lie to the police. Does this get anything to do with Belle? <sighs> OK. It was Dr Bailey. Come on, the guy is twice her age. His lies could have got a section. Doesn't mean I want you on an assault charge. Well, if I've stopped him ruining her life, then it'll be worth it. There is no way he's going to tell anyone it was me. I made sure of that, so stop worrying, OK? Hey, how was shopping? Oh. I saw the most amazing dress. That is way too expensive. <laughs> but I'll be earning a bit more tonight, so I might go back later in the week. Mm. Well, maybe we can have that lunch then? Yeah, I'd like that. Me too. You should have seen it. About time. I thought I got through to you last night. But now I hear you went straight back to him. Who told you that? Brenda. So you're both in the surgery. It'll be all around the village now. How could you go back to him after what he said about you? Because he had a reason for saying those things. He has lost everything telling the truth. He might not even get to be a doctor anymore. <sighs> well, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I bet you are. Because it's your fault. No, it's his fault. What's he going to do now? I don't know. I just know that I'm not going to be a part of it because he's just told me that we're finished. Well, that means he's seen sense. I told him to leave you alone. You didn't just tell him, though, did you? You beat it into him. I'm not defending Kane, but he's just looking out for you. He could have killed Jermaine. He deserved to go to jail. Look, if he grasses me up, I'll take what's coming to me. I really don't think he's going to want to bother me again. I know it doesn't feel like this yet, but this really is for the best, spell. I've stood by you through everything with Dad. And you know exactly how I feel about Jermaine, so how can you expect me to just turn my back on the man that I love? Well, it seems to me he's made that decision for you. 
Wow. What's in on? Oh, you'll probably get a mouthful if you do. Listen, let's go down the pub, eh? We've got something to celebrate, haven't we? Even if she won't admit it. Police? I need to report a crime. I know who assaulted Dr. Jermaine Bailey yesterday. What are you doing up here? Lisa sent me. Can I borrow some straw? Well, it matters not soft enough, eh? Right, no, no, it's for pigs. Oh, well, you know where it is. Knock yourself out. Okay. Right, the shirt. What shirt? The one with Dr. Bailey's blood on it. But it's in the washing bin. Don't just stand there. Mr. Dingle? Yeah? yeah? Kane Dingle. What of it? We're investigating a serious assault that took place the day before yesterday. Ring any bells? Uh, not that I can hear. Well, maybe it's Midge. We can always do this down the station, then return with a warrant to turn this place over. What for? Well, I'm not looking for Barbar Black Sheep, so it must be for evidence. And what's this got to do with me? That's what we're here to find out. Brain tree. Bailey. You said it was me. We've received reliable information. <laughs> Which means you've got nothing. Who's this? Uh, no one, it's just my stepdaughter. Listen, you'll have to open up without me. Come on, shift yourself. This won't take long. You say that, but my writing's atrocious. Teachers despair to me. Ouch. Must have hurt. Um, yeah, it did. Mind if I ask how it came about? Stepdaughter dropped a bonnet on him. Right. Let's make a start then, shall we? Let me finish the last of the deliveries. No Kane? He's back at the farm. The police have showed up. Want to talk to him about beating up that doctor guy or... Great. I knew this would come back on him. The shirt. I didn't put the wash on. It's fine. I've got it. What, that's it in there? Kane told me to get rid of it. Here? I don't think so. What are you doing? I'm stopping you from going to jail. I won't. Well, I'm not going to take that risk. If the police are asking questions, that means they know something, which means they'll also be all over this place like a rash. Here, take this back for me. No. Look, I can do it. Holly, what is getting to you? Nothing. Look, I've told you I can take care of it. And I've told you I don't want you to. Kane, okay, no right asking you. I don't want you anywhere near this. That's the end to it. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to add? No. No sign you've had a wasted journey. We'll have to see about that. I thought I told you to open up. Oh, change your plan. Mum asked me to bring this back. My number. If you realise you've forgotten anything or feel the urge to suddenly confess. I won't. Oh, and uh, look after that hand. Did you get rid of it? Mum took it. I ran into her at the garage. What did she do with it? I don't know. She just went off. Oh, I just weren't there. Oh, you still here, then? Only I thought those two might have dragged you off. What did you do with it? The shirt. Why? Last you said there wouldn't be any problems. Well, did you get rid of it or not? Yes, I got rid of it. But now it's my turn to get some answers. Answers about what? I don't know, like, what were you thinking of? Roping her into this with that lot sniffing I around? I didn't have much choice, did I? Well, the next time you need someone to do your dirty work, Kane, leave her out of it. Bins. I drove around for ages trying to find somewhere. And in the end, it was the best I could think of. Well, what if some old wino like Sandy goes rifling through it? Well, they won't. I shoved it right to the bottom. Anyway, with a bit of luck, the bin men will have emptied it by now. So you see, not so stupid after all. Actually, um, do you mind if I take an early dinner? What, now? Yeah, of course you can. OK, 
Hey, no treat you, won't you? Hey? You don't have to. No, 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 I insist. I mean, she was really stressed out not wanting to let you down. Yeah. I shouldn't have put you through that. You did well. Thank you. Uh, you forgetting someone? <laughs> what do you want, a tenner and all? Well, an apology will do. Better? Better. Hey, you never did tell me what the police said. That's my word against Bailey's. Good, so as long as they don't find the shirt, which they won't, then you should be all right, shouldn't you? Well, unless they find something else. Like what? I don't know, do I? I didn't expect them to turn up here, but they did. Oh, so much for locking up. We should be knocking them. Why are you bleeding? I don't think it's anything too serious. Are you a doctor? Don't take it out on him. It's lucky he was here. Was it just a one block? Did you recognise him? Never seen him before. Well, did he say anything? I think he was too busy cracking my head against the door. <laughs> Didn't expect you to get all kick ass on him, though, did he? <laughs> Vic, you could have been seen every time. <sighs> I know they're toys, but you just want them to be happy. <laughs> Oi, stop laughing at me, you. <laughs> the one who used to be inseparable from her teddy bear. Mm, years ago. Yeah, well, you grow up all you like, you'll always be my little girl. Mm -mm. How long is it since we did this? Do you remember Telly Night when you and Hannah were little? No boys allowed, just us. Oh, not this again. Oi! Out! No boys allowed. This bar's going, don't worry. I've got the pub for another pint. <laughs> you OK? They've got him. The police, they've got Vic's attacker. What? He's been arrested? Yeah, he's banged up in a cell. Fits the description, they're pretty sure it's him. So, is he being charged? Well, they want Vic to go and ID him tomorrow, but... I mean, she said she had a good look at his face, Mum. She's gonna get him, I know she will. That idiot get what's coming to him. Yeah, but first he's going to start talking. And then he can explain why the hell he did that to my wife. Well, he's in custody, so he can't hurt you again. Bit early for a family meeting, innit? Yeah, you've got nothing to worry about. He is going to prison, that's for sure. Are you OK? I just hope they accidentally hit his head when they put him in the back of the police car. Oh, you'll be a lot less scared when he's behind bars. Do you want a cuppa? Oh, yeah. But you hear about people doing much worse and getting off. Once you ID him, though, it's a slam dunk. Me and Adam can sort him out before he sends in if you want. I mean, I'm going to France tomorrow to see Debbie and the kids, but we can do it before I go. If we're doing anything, we're doing it legally. What were you suggesting? What do you mean? That van. And it was work for Holly, too. And what, this bully comes along and ruins it all? Well, he'll probably say something when he's inside and get the battering he deserves. Well, did that ever stop you being a thug? Why are you having a go at me? I, I didn't talk her out of it. Oh, well, you're not that bothered either, though, are you? So long as you get to go and see Debbie and the kids tomorrow. Do you know what? I'm going to the pub. Find some other punch bag. Fine. And why did you scare Victoria? I said I thought she was brave having to point him out in court. I didn't mean to scare her. Aye, well, it did. That's right. You go to the pub. I'll do the dishes. He probably wants me to put a wash on, too, so he's got some clothes to go away with. Go to the pub, put your feet up, more into charity about me. Another man who does what he wants and gets away with it. Stop! I'm still using. I was going to be first up this morning. Are you all packed? Aye. Uh, you all right? Yeah. Just couldn't get back to sleep because someone woke me up coming in so late. Ah, oh, right. So, um, it's all my fault, yeah? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. It's up. I, uh, <clears throat> rang Chaz last night. Oh, yeah? How is she? Getting better. I can't help but thinking this isn't the right time to visit our Debbie. Well, muddle along without you somehow. 
You all right? Yeah. Now hop it before you miss your ferry. Mm. Mom, I'm sorry. How long after the overdose did you do it again? Hmm? Weeks, months, days, what? Not long after the sheep escaped. You know, and Kane didn't want me to look after Kyle. What, you're blaming him? No. Right, so that's a couple of weeks. So you must have found a way of faking the tests. Huh? Come on. Oh, my God. Kyle! Tell me you didn't! Tell me you didn't! Mum, I was desperate! I didn't want to let you down! Oh God, I don't care about me! I just... I didn't want to do this to you again! Kane wanted to continue with those tests, and I fought for you! I convinced him to trust you, and all along you were using his son! So... Oh. I really thought I could. I got through it last time, by myself, in London. I mean, I managed to get myself clean. No, no, you didn't. For a while, I didn't. No, you didn't. For a while isn't clean, is it? No. I do not believe you. Sorry. You know, I've been in here for hours thinking about what to say to you. What is there, Holly? Hmm? You tell me. Because all I can think about is what I said the last time. Yeah, so I shouted, I pleaded, I begged, I threatened, I cried and I cried. But you still went back to it. And you used Kyle. You're stealing his urine. I mean, you've already sunk that low. You're disgusting. Look at you. You made me sick. You made me sick. That's not the worst thing. I needed money. And I arranged for my drug dealer to steal it from the van. It's my fault Victoria got beaten up. No. It's really... Positive and normal. Hi. Hello. You're early. And so warm welcome. Yep. You all right? Yeah, I've just got a bug. These two looking after you then? Yeah, we've done our best. Uh, yeah, I'll put the kettle on. I'll unpack. Not a word about this. All right? Hi. Hey. Hey. How's the toy book this morning? Is it safe to go in? Hey? Mmm. Mm. Ooh. Not even a tiny taste of bomb. Okay. You feeling brighter then? Just a little bit. Don't speak too soon though. Are oh, you kidding? Adam's place got burgled yesterday. It was a girl that Victoria chased off but never saw her face. Why their place? Not exactly flash, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Most robbers are chances, though. Not much luck, though, eh? Victoria getting it twice. Mm. You're quiet. Something I should know. Oh, no. I'm just tired, that's all. You're coming down with this buggy bum we've got, are you? Oh, I hope not. Oh, you still here? I'm just getting off. All right. Then again, uh, I'm in no rush. I have a meeting with a supplier. Time to wait five minutes. Five minutes? Now, there's an offer I can't refuse. OK, an hour and 15 minutes. Really? 
Oh, I just maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> Come on, it's been ages. I know, I know, but I'm still feeling a bit rough, babes. Bye. See ya. Hi. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Come on. What's up? OK, you better keep this between us, all right? Vic and Adam are having some problems. All right. So the honeymoon period is definitely over then, is it? Yeah, I mean, well, you know what kids are like. I mean, they'll be fine. Vic just needs to calm down a bit. Hey, she's angry. It's understandable. She'll calm down. I wouldn't if I was her. You're up late. Well, I was hoping you'd come back to bed. <sighs> no, I can't. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're still poorly. Thanks for the sympathy. Well, why don't you go and see a doctor? I'm fine. I'm just a bit run down, that's all. Don't worry. What are you doing? Dropped it. <laughs> sure you know how. Funny. Oh, by the way, lager's back on. Change the barrel. What grief it's like you actually work here. Why are you so pleased with yourself? She reckons she's on the promise. Not so much a promise, thank you. More a racing certainty. <laughs> what mug have you got your claws into now? Someone sexy and loaded. In more ways than one, if you catch my drift. What's wrong? No. Tell me. Someone's not right with Maura. She's been off from me ever since I got back from our Devis. <laughs> Don't tell me you've lost your magic talk. She's the one who's lost interest. Why? She's not been well recently. Well, nothing serious, I hope. Don't know. Says she keeps feeling sick. Well, you don't think she's up the door? No. No, no, she told me that, surely. Ah, well, probably summer and nothing. That's what she said. Oi! No, look, if it's bothering you that much, go and have it out with her. Bye-bye. Anything to upset Vic? No, of course not. Then why is she dead again? She helping with the van then? Huh? Oh, Adam, it's fine. There's plenty of things for her to do around here. Yeah, right, love. Me, yeah, I'm right as well. She's not doing too well, though, is she? What's she on about now? See for yourself. What are these? Tell him. Tell me what? Your sister's got HIV. Actually, she hasn't. Oh, stop trying to protect her! I know what the fuck I've been online. You're back on the drugs, aren't you? What was it, a dodgy needle? Oh, I've been selling your body again. Kane, don't! We have put ourselves out for you too many times. Not anymore. You've had your last chance. They're not hers. They're mine. What? I'm the one who might be infected. Have you been sleeping around? No, of course not. Well, what then? I pricked my arm on a needle. What needle? Found it in the street. Because yeah, the village is full of junkies. No. No, just the one. What? Holly, I can handle this. You shouldn't have to. Look, it's my fault what happened. She was just trying to help me. You're right. I've been using it again. Your mother? No, it wasn't like that. Look, it's always like that. You worthless junkie. Don't call her that. 
You know, this was bound to happen because you're soft on her. Always turning a blind eye, letting her shoot up in our house. Kin, honestly, that is not what happened. She tracked down my dealer. You did what? She tried to get him to back off. That's how she got stabbed with a needle. This is down to me, Kane. It's always down to you because you're weak and pathetic. You stop it. Why are you always defending her? Because she's my daughter. Well, I'm your husband, but no, no, my opinion doesn't count. We are sorting it. It's fine now. You've got HIV. What is fine about that? I've been taking the pills. I'm going to be OK. But thanks for asking how I am, by the way. I have been asking you for weeks, but you've not told me anything. Don't blame her. Don't. Oh, I know exactly who to blame. Once a junkie, always a junkie. Will you stop calling her that? <sighs> All right, Dan. I don't get it. Could have helped you, Holly. You know, we both could, me and Vic. We're on your side. Thing is... It's my fault Vic got beaten up. What? I needed money to pay off my dealer. And I arranged for the van to be robbed. Vic wasn't supposed to be there. She wasn't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Someone get her away from me now! Adam, Adam, she was desperate. Please, try and understand. What? You knew about this? Of course she knew. I wanted to tell you, but... Things get out of hand. So instead, you thought, oh, I'll take a drug dealer on myself. Single-handed. We had no choice. You should have come to me. And look how well you're taking it. Simon's bosses were getting nasty. He said that if I didn't pay up, they'd deal with it themselves. He took a picture of Kyle and reckoned if he could get to him, so could they. He threatened Kyle? He panicked. So did I. Oh, but Kyle was never in any real danger, I swear. It was all talk. What else have I been told, eh? It's OK. I, I, I've dealt with it. How? Well, he's had a warning. Oh, that's your idea of dealing with it? A warning? I bet he's wetting himself, isn't he? Where can I find this Simon? It, let it go. Kyle didn't get her. Yeah, Vic did. And you covered for her. I mean, why didn't you go to the police? We couldn't. Not without dragging Holly down with him. Face it, lad, in our world, the junkie always comes first. Hey, it's not like that. I would do anything to protect my family. Yeah? Then why is that always at the front of the queue, then? I'm your son, Mum! Fix your daughter-in-law, but never mind if she gets beaten up, eh? As long as your precious little Holly's all right. Adam. Kane. Just... just go. You want some lunch? Come on. We ought to talk about this. OK. Here's a question for you. Your junkie daughter puts my little boy at risk and you don't think it's something that needs mentioning? No, I didn't know about that. Believe me. How can I ever believe you? Because not telling me things, that's what you do, innit? It's not as simple as that. Yes, it is. Stuff happens, we talk about it, we sort it out. Except we don't always, do we? Not when it comes to Holly, So I know what you think of her. Oh, I'm sorry, have I got it wrong? Is she not some manipulative druggie who, who only cares about herself? See? There you go. She's my daughter, like Debbie's yours. At least Debbie won't end up dead with a needle in her arm, though. Don't say that. And, and she's been clean for a while before this. It's because we were making her do drug tests and they were working. We should have stuck to that. But no, 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 no. You know best, don't you? When are you going to stop kidding yourself? Do you love me? You know I do. Then prove it. I want her out of our lives. Kate. 
please. You can't ask me to turn my back on her. This is why I didn't tell you. Because I knew you would make me choose between you. Well, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Fair enough. Your decision. Why am I back here? Because I'm one of two people who know how to cope with you when you get like this. And Chaz is at the cash and carry. Bet you're loving this. What? You've been waiting for a chance to get between me and Maura. Excuse me, I'm on a hot date, thank you. So if you're just expecting me to magically drop my knickers because you and the missus have had a barney, you can think on. I could want to go back there again. Well then, problem solved, eh? So go on, what happened? I don't want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you do. Maura might have HIV. What, she fooled around? Worse than that. <gasps> well, what could be worse? Holly's back on the smack. Maura played Wonder Woman, went looking for a dealer and ended up getting herself infected. Oh, poor cow. Poor nothing. I should have let Holly's ex waste her when I had the chance, or better still, left her for dead all them years ago. Sorry, how is this Moira's fault? Because a freak of a daughter is all she really cares about. <sighs> You'll get over it. No, I won't. I don't want to. Not anymore. Wait a sec, are you... Are you saying that you and Moira are over? Yeah. I'm trying not to laugh too hard. I just need to talk to her. No, I don't. Every time she opens her mouth, she lies. Can't trust her. But you don't trust anyone. Like when me and you were together and you slipped Faye one, do you remember? Yeah, because you had Jay. Except I never. No, that was different. You were always a bit of a tart. I knew that up front. And you were always a bit of a moody side. All right. You and me. We weren't perfect. <laughs> Bit of an understatement. Yeah, but... There was a sort of honesty there, I reckon. Well, we knew each other too well, don't we? Never learnt how to hide things properly. Couldn't accuse Maura of that. Oh, be fair, she doesn't have our history, does she? That dress. What's wrong with it? <laughs> You'll throw yourself at anyone, won't you? And that's what I loved about you, Kane. Always knew how to make a girl feel special. <laughs> wow. That didn't last long, did it? <laughs> right. I need a beer. Sit down. <sighs> Not having you lamp in the bar, star. Charles will never forgive me. Wait here. Tonic. You're being missed. Oh, I'd forgotten about him. Ready? Oh, sorry, family crisis. Who was that bloke? My ex, father of my little girl. You know how it is. You need to be at that meeting. Maybe another time. There won't be another time. But if you want the five grand to go to someone else. Then... Well, you could still put in a good word for me, can you? Why would I want to do that? Come on, Steve. I thought we had an understanding. So did I. I booked a hotel room. So you reckon I'm yours for a measly five grand, do you? Well, dream on! So how's Kane? Profoundly displeased. Should I be worried? Relax now. You're the last thing on his mind right now. 
You seem like a nice bloke. Yeah, nice blokes. Do they even exist? You know what? Sack the tonic, I'll just take the bottle, yeah? <sighs> Me? Well, you should be grateful. You don't fire off yourself by day. No, no, this isn't happening. Not on my sofa. Get off her. Get off her. <sighs> How could you do this to Moira? She's history. Since when? Long story. But, you know, kind of in the middle of something here, so... Like a rat up a drain pipe, you, aren't you? It was his idea. Want to take this upstairs? That sounds good to me. OK. No, you're going nowhere. Well, just back off, will you? No, you love Moira. I know you do. So why are you chucking yourself at the first tired old tart that comes along? Are you looking for a slap? Take me on, see what happens. This isn't what you want. Well, my bra's half off, so clearly it is. <laughs> right, seriously, I will deck you. She has been handing herself to you on a plate ever since she got out of prison, and every time you have pushed her away. Now, all of a sudden, she's irresistible. I don't buy it. No, no, you are not throwing your marriage away. Moira's worth ten of her, and you know it. I am in the room! Oh, do you know what? Sack this. Damn, man, I don't need this grief. I was finally in there! You have no self-respect. Matt, right, where did you sleep last night? Garage. I need your shower. Tell her. Had she not barged in that you'd have a massive love bite necklace by now and we'd be pregnant. I've no idea what you're talking about, and she didn't barge in on anything. Oh, you are such a hypocrite! Oh, yeah. How's that, then, eh? Isn't this whole shebang with the missus supposed to be about lies? Isn't it? You wanted me. If you dare start... Yeah? Yeah. Are you want that? No. Oh, yeah. You need that shower. Be warned. Patrick, Kane's here. Right. Well, this is my fault. Just tell him that, yeah? No. I don't like it. You're really good. Hi. Hi. Well, Mum was just saying earlier that she was um, wrong not to tell you what happened. Not exactly. But... And that she shouldn't have lied to you about me or him. Or well, anything at all, really. Oh, I feel enough pressure without you two splitting up. Please don't. She's trying so hard. I won't choose. Well, I ain't come to fight. Ah. Uh, so you've come to see us fail? No, you idiot. You're wrong. You're oh. completely wrong. Oh, Kane, I'm sorry. I should have told you. It's all right. What happened at the pub last night? Chas said you were a pain. And then you know everything. I should have told you. I mean, even your sister warned me. And Holly. Seems they're all on your side. But you have to admit, Keen. I mean, I'm glad it's all out in the open and everything, but sometimes it's still just easier to lie. I guess Charity. Time to get up. What? Shower's free. Mm. Ah. Oh. 
What do you want? Just wondering why you crashed here, scene of the crime. <laughs> so you're going to tell Moira, in the interest of honesty? I slept on my sister's sofa, that's all. Doubt she'll say it that way, bearing in mind she's chucked you out. Is she overreacted? You're washing. I'll see you back at the farm. Right. Oh, please don't leave on my account. I'm leaving on mine. Well, go on, then. Where do you want these? Kitchen, please. Was that necessary? Necessary? Um, I don't know, but it was fun. Yeah, for you, maybe. For everyone else, that was rather unpleasant. Well, imagine how Moira would have reacted if I'd have told her where Kane spent last night. What are you doing? Well, Olivia. Not anymore, you don't. Where are my flowers and chocolates? Surprised a walking cliche like you didn't think that's all it would take to fix this. I was hoping we could have a proper conversation. Just leave. I'm not in the mood. Look, we both know how this goes. You're angry and you've every right to be. And I'm sorry. That is what matters. Now it's just a case of playing it all out. I'm sorry, did you practice this on the way over? Because I'm not sure you know how arrogant you sound. There you go. You play the angry card, now I'll play the apologetic card. But in the end, we'll get there because we have to. We are right together. So let's just get back there and cut out all this rubbish. Take. A big one, but you made mistakes too. Not like that. I was angry, aren't you? That's why I kissed her. What are you? Ten years old? Do you know how cruel that is? Yes, which is why I told you. I didn't have to, but I, I just wanted to be honest with you. Oh, well, good for you. But you lied to me and it hurt me. I just wanted to make you feel the same. I hurt you because I was trying to protect my daughter. You hurt me just because you could. It's not the same thing at all. I know that. I wish you could take it back. You can't expect me to just stop being angry. I don't. I will make it up to you. I just... I just want to come back home. So I can make things right, but I can't do that if I'm not here. I'm so sorry. I love you. Just give us a minute, will you? Moira, can I have a quick word, please, outside? Why? Asked you nicely. Now go. Ask him where he was last night. Where were you? I was giving you space. Where? I didn't want to spend another night in the garage. You were with Charity. I slept on the sofa in my sister's pub. I wasn't with Charity. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Now get out of my house. Go on. I didn't do anything with Charity. I'm not interested. I've told you. I slept on the sofa, asked Chaz. The very fact you even went there shows what I mean to you. Oh, come on. Where else was I supposed to go? I can't believe that you nearly talked me round. Nothing happened. Is that what Charity said? Why are you asking him? He wants rid of me. No, I don't. I just don't want Moira being made a mug of. It was got nothing to do with you. Look, the point is, I don't believe you or trust you. Listen, from now on, right, whatever you want, whenever Holly screws up, you've got me. I will be there. Well, maybe you should have been there for Moira when she needed you last time. Scared out of her wits, thinking she had HIV. How long was he, now? He was there when it happened, when we were both looking for Holly. You weren't here. But him? But Charity! But I wasn't here. If you'd have told me, I'd have come back in a heartbeat, but you went to him. No, I was looking after Moira. Yeah, well, that is my job. Stop it! Stop it, Keaton! 
Right. <laughs> Woo! Time for temper. So I take it you and Moira didn't work it out like you said you would? Go away. Where are you going? None of your business. Kane, you're up to something and it's no good, I can tell. Get out of the way. I'm not going to say it again. Just hang on a sec. But if you don't move, I'm going to run you over. Answer the phone, you idiot. I'm trying to do you a favour here. Then you will get right back. You would have run me over, wouldn't you? If I hadn't jumped out of the way. Well, cheers, big ears. I owe you one. Don't do anything stupid, Kane, all right? You're just going to get pulled over driving around in that state? Look, you could still sort this out. Just don't do anything you can't undo, all right? That's all I'm saying. I didn't know you was in the car. So it was OK if it was just James. I was coming to see you. He was driving me to see you. I was going to try and fix things. Moira. No, don't moira me. Don't even touch me. You stay away from me. You're an absolute lunatic. I thought we had something worth saving. And I thought I knew you. Do I even want to know what's happened? No. Why don't you be never? Am I really that stupid? No, of course not. Yeah, but have I just been kidding myself? I know he's no angel, but this... Don't even waste your breath. I think she needs a bit more time, Kane. I'm not going anywhere until we've talked. Fine. I don't want to argue about it. I don't argue with psychos. I'll call the police. Mum, don't. You don't need my help getting put in prison. The way you're carrying on, you'll end up there soon enough. You don't end up dead first. OK, so things got a little bit out of hand. Are you really that disturbed that you think running someone off the road's just a little bit out of hand? But I didn't, did I? Only because you saw that I was in the car with him. You're not even that sorry, are you? I'm, uh, I'm sorry I upset you. And I'm sorry you had to see me like that. But you are like that. That's you, Kane. And I don't want to be with that person. I can't do it anymore. I don't want to be with someone that I'm scared of. It's over, Kane. Whatever we had, you've broken it. It's finished. You look rough. Tried to keep you up all night, did she? Sweetheart, would you make a start and unloading the feed for me, please? Sure. Yeah. What do you want? I want to get my gear. <clears throat> Shacking up with her, I suppose. What's it to you? You want me gone, don't you? I'm only going to say this once. You're going to regret it. You know, I wondered if I was making a mistake choosing to stand by my daughter, even though I knew it might destroy her marriage. But I'm glad I did. Because even at her worst, she still has more integrity than you'll ever have. Now, I want you to take all of your stuff. I don't want any reminders of the mistake I made when I married you. 
<laughs> this is a wind up, right? It's for Dad Stag do. Thought you might squeeze into a size 12. I'm not squeezing into anything. Your male ego not take it. I'll see you up there. Dan said you were here. What's this? What's it look like? I mean, she's washed them, but I wouldn't hold your breath if you want them ironed. Go on, then, ask. How is she? Missing you. Probably about the same amount you're missing her, so... Well, not a lot, then, obviously. Be my guest. Do you know what's funny? You're just the same as I was. Only without the drugs. Is this the bit where I'm supposed to ask, what do you mean? You're addicted to hurting yourself. You're miserable. I can see it in your face. But you'd rather put up with it than take a risk and try and sort it out. As usual. It's the same thing over and over. That's your habit, Kane. Look, she'll be in here later. Just in case you're interested. Oh, no way are you still wearing these. <laughs> I mean, come on, they're old enough for Hot and Folk Museum. Wow, she must be needy if she's still doing your washing. Not an attractive quality, that, is it? No, there's glow to him. No. That's actually Sam. Got a lovely boy. Do you mind? Okay. Do you drink? Oh, I'm getting them. Oh, I see. She, um, <clears throat> she reckoned we should talk. And what about you? What do you reckon? I reckon I agree. I almost forgot what I'd been missing. Well, it takes two to make a conversation. Mm. Except it feels more like three. <sighs> Let's go somewhere else. No. Well, give me 15 minutes, I'll lock up, and then we can meet you at home. I said I'd meet someone. I've lent Adam the pickup to take everyone to court. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? I can drive you back. James. He just said he would give me a lift back, that's all, but I'll, I'll give him a call, though. I'll tell you what, why don't you whistle him, cos he'll probably come through that door right now with his tail wagging and loads of slaver hanging round his chops. That's it, is it? 20 minutes. That's how long you can last without being an idiot. That's about as long as you can last without mentioning your ex. Thanks for the drink. Can't carry on like this, we need to sort it. I agree. Well, let's go to the pub. I want to start divorce proceedings. Whatever you want. That's it. That's all you have to say. What do you want me to do? Beg? No. I know you wouldn't do that. Any chance of getting served down here? I just want to just empty the till for you. Wow, that sounds like a good plan. Though I have got a better plan. Have you checked your horoscope recently? Cos I'm guessing there's a promise of luck, lust and money. Not necessarily in that order. <sighs> what are you going on about? There's a hotel we've not done before. No. Oh, come on, listen to me. It's really plush. Big tech firm holding an event there tomorrow, so I'm guessing loads of flashy melts in the car park. And you're telling me why? We go old school. These geeks won't have seen a hot, sophisticated brunette in the flesh before, so guess what? Their jaws are going to be on the floor when they see what I'm wearing. Sounds like you've done this before. Got your attention, though, didn't it? Can I just hear your heart beating that a little bit faster? Yes, about as fast as the last time I watched paint dry. Come on, I'll sort your suit out. And then maybe I'll help you get out of it later. I know what you're doing. We both know what we're doing here, Kane. That's why this 
Me and you, it works. But you know, if you're not interested, if you want to find something else to fill the empty void. I'll go and check if that pants dried yet. Hey. the rest of the order off in the morning? Yeah, works for me. All right. Then we'll be better. What are you doing? Hmm? No, nothing. Just checking to see if Charity got her claws in too early. <sighs> she didn't. Looks like you were having a nice little chat. What were you talking about? The old times. I know you, Kane. And more importantly, I know her. Shall I tell you what happens next? You stop talking? She knows when you're at your lowest point, and that is when she strikes. Just leave it. Whatever it is, it isn't worth it. We both know that you'd rather be at home with Moira. Happy. Just being happy. Yeah, but that offer's not on the table anymore, though, is it? Oh, OK. Uh, that saved me a journey. I was going to come and see you. Kane. Huh. Of course it is. Look, I know he's not your problem anymore, but I'm pretty sure he's involved with something that he shouldn't be. Again, I'm not exactly sure what. Like you said, it's not my problem anymore. No, without you, he makes bad decisions. Uh, he made plenty of them when he's with me too. Oh, come on. I know things didn't work out, but don't tell me you don't still care about him. Jazz. Oh, look at David. Cancer. Life is too short not to care. Hello, got some bloke. Good day. Uh... Sorry. Uh, are you OK? You don't look too good. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, just happy to be part of your discussion. Like, if you're that worried, it's him you need to be talking to, not me. Well, don't you think I've tried? He's always too pig-headed to listen to his sister. So, next call, charity? Please, just talk to him. Bang his head against the wall, anything to stop him from hitting self-destruct. You've got one sister, even if you can't stand the sight of her. See ya. See ya. Hi, right, please. Can I just take this opportunity to say thank you for last night? You know, for the hypothermia, axle grease in my hair. I thought you liked it dirty. Excuse me, you left me snoring in the back of a clapped-out banger without my pants. Freezing to death? Well, it won't happen again. No, cos next time I'm gonna book a room, a really plush room, and you're paying. No, last night was a mistake. I've mean, forgotten about it already now. If you've any sense, so will you. Well, guess what? It's ingrained in my memory now. I'm so sorry about that. Charity, one word, I mean it. And you get yourself in trouble again. You fend for yourself. Am I getting that pint or what? Yeah, sure. What? You and Charity. What's the deal? There is no deal. One minute you're riding to a rescue, the next it's cold shoulders and death stares. <sighs> well, you know, it's just business. Look at me straight and tell me that. We're history. Yeah, you used to be, but now you're back on the market. You get with her even for one night, and that is you and Moira over for good. It's not gonna happen. She doesn't stop until she gets what she wants. She wants you. It's either her or your marriage. And I don't reckon you're ready to give up on that just yet. You finished? Sam, that money was meant to be for information about Belle, not for homeless people. But he was cold and hungry. He needed the money more than I did. Don't worry, he did a good thing, Sam. That's because you're a good person. Don't you, star. Fat little good that's ever done him. Don't be fooled. We'll be group hugging in a minute. Just come here. Mm. Put her down or get a room or just... Ooh, getting a room would be good. Get lost. No, why should I? Not while Belle's still out there, thanks. I mean, one of us has to have a clue. You should be out there looking, not hanging around, waiting for her to come home like some lost little dog. Oh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Look, we're out looking for her later, and before you ask, we can do without your kind of help. Not what you said last night, though, is it? In fact, the more helpful I was... <sighs> I 
I've told you last night was a mistake. It's not gonna happen again. Well, nobody tells me anything, least of all you. Couldn't get your hands off me, could you? Hey, it's been a while. <sighs> Just back off. Why should I? I mean, I've got nothing to hide. In fact, I've got nothing to lose. So why should I keep last night a secret? Do you have to ask? My life is screwed up enough as it is without you making it anywhere, so just keep it zipped. <laughs> Why? Because you couldn't. All right, fine. If you don't want me to tell the world that I have an impression of a handbrake on my backside, maybe you'd best start thinking about what you can do for me, hey? I'm not going to apologise, all right? I want Belle found as much as you lot do. We agreed. <sighs> Yeah, she's not one of us anymore. Oh, come on! They were out of the depth and it was a dodgy part of town. They needed my help. Out of our depth, more like droning. Charlotte, you got beaten up. Well, I got a lead on Belle. I didn't want to raise your hopes in case it was dodgy. Anyway, it turns out it was dodgy. You know, what's a few bruised ribs between mates? Yeah, well, leave it to us from now on. We don't need your help. We never did. But we do. Belle's not round here. We're going to have to go further every time to find her. We need all the help we can get. You've changed your tune. Yeah. Why is that, Kane? Because I've seen sense. And you lot should and all. It's not her fault Belle's done a runner. Then whose is it? We're all to blame. Belle's sick and she has been for a while. We'll be a lot stronger if we stick together. It makes sense to me. I'll not forget this. And the minute Belle gets home... Yeah, let's get her home first. What's going on, Kane? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. You don't like it or not, and I don't. She's one of us. And it stays like that, OK? You're running out of lives, lady. I'm wondering what kind of stunt does a girl have to pull to get Kane to change his mind? Well, when you find out, let me know, yeah? Mm. Thanks, I owe you one. No. That's what I owed you for last night. I'll see if we can find her in town. Are you coming, Kate? Yeah. If we all work together, we'll bring her home, won't we? Ah, somehow or other. Not your birthday, is it? No, just a good day. First since Andy left, actually. How much do I owe you? Oh, I'll get that. Oh, thanks. And uh, same for me, please, Chaz. Would be rude not to celebrate. Have you spoken to Rakesh? No, not yet. I thought he'd be in here buying you a drink himself. I decided not to buy, once I realised there was nothing in it for me. You didn't sign? I didn't sign. I'm sorry, I've stuck my Jimmy Choo's in it, haven't I? He hasn't told you. Well, you were still keen yesterday. Rakesh said it was a formality, so what's changed? Why don't you ask him? Cheers. Thanks that I'd be better off not knowing. Don't be daft. Well, the chances of that particular needle being infected with the virus. Yeah, but you've got to rule it out. And if I can't? Other people live with HIV. I'll manage. When's your test? Soon. Anyway, I'll let you get on. Don't want you to keep charity waiting. No, I was chop, just... Chop, chop. It's all gonna be all right. Yeah, it's got to be. Oi, come in. Do you know what? I've had just about as much as I can take from you for one day, thanks. I said... Come here. Since when did you get so bossy? Since now. <gasps> Go. That'll be seven quid to you, Myra. Nice try. There's six forty. Hate when people are too tight to tip, don't you? You've really nothing better to do than to wind me up. Plenty, actually. But I don't like to gloat. Not when all you've got to look forward to is washing cow poo off at the end of the day. I don't suppose you could clear one of the tables outside for us, could you? Yeah, I could. Well, I'm a tad busy at the moment, as you can see. However, there's a little cosy space over there for you both. Uh, just ignore her. I'll do it. Thanks, Charles. All right. When you're ready. So about yesterday, I'm all up for strong and silent, but then there's just grabby and plain rude. And you know what? I got really bad cramp trying to avoid sliding off the car bonnet. And? 
Oh, come on, that's twice I've made do with a drafty garage now, and you didn't even make me a brew afterwards. Not that I'd touch them grimy mugs. Oh, having said that, I touched you, didn't I, so... Do you just like the sound of your own voice, or do you actually want me to say something? Bit of both. Well, you were very keen for it to happen, so it hardly warrants a post-match analysis, does it? OK, well, next time you fancy a little booty call, my minimum requirements are bed. You understand? There won't be a next time. Oh, excuse me, um, deja vu memento? Forget the pipe. You won't last 24 hours, will you? You were sending me dirty emojis before the day's out. It's an hour, huh? Why wouldn't it be? Here you go. Cheers, man. Guess what? What? Guess who scored a meeting at Take A Vow about doing a pre-wedding photo shoot for some loaded clients. Seriously? Yep. I mean, I kind of had to talk Megan into it, but once she sees my work, who knows? <laughs> oh, sweetheart, <laughs> come here. That's brilliant. Yeah, it certainly is. Plus, handling a demanding bride can't be that different to shooting landscapes, right? Uh, I'm up to it, thanks, Uncle James. Ignore him, you're more than capable. <laughs> so when's your meeting? Uh, Megan said to go tomorrow at one. All right. Something up? No, of course not. I'm made up for you. So I suppose that means you're going to spend the evening tidying up your portfolio? Yes, I was just about to get on it now. Oh, I'm so proud of you. But the cows won't milk themselves. What's going on? Mm? With my mum. Come on, I saw that shift your look she just gave you. Your mum's getting her HIV results at one o'clock tomorrow. She's pretty anxious about it. Understandably. <sighs> I thought I'd shaken you off. How did you know it was me? Because I know you. <laughs> you can't bear not to have the last word and the fact that you smell of like beer and Marlon's chips. You're a perfect combo then, eh? Mm. Fine, if I'm so predictable, what am I going to do now? Uh, change the habit of a lifetime and take a hint? I think that's highly unlikely. See, the thing is, I know you too, remember? In fact, every tiny little detail, yeah? Um, what are you doing? Well, I decided the odd bout of cramp was worth it. It's about my mum. Oh, bore me later. Uh, just shut up, will you? Be quiet. It's not funny. I'm not laughing. Kane! All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm... I was trying to have a kip. Yeah, well, you've awake now, so listen to me. I'm... No, 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 you listen. If your mum wants to talk to me, tell her to come herself. Well, she it's not the playground. I don't need second-hand messages. I know you don't, but Good. I... See you, then. Go on, skedaddle. These seats are very itchy. I'm gonna get a rash if I'm not careful. Get your clothes on. Oh, you're so hot when you're masterful. Look at you, trying so hard to pretend you're not loving every second of this. Locking us in, being Mr Frosty in public. But you and me over the bonnet of that Mondeo. smoking. Have you finished? Why can you not contain yourself? Did I all you like, Kane? I've got you, Sost. Hey. I, uh, I lost the keys to the storeroom, so I stuck the screwdriver in and it just opened. What's the point? Of what? The keys. They're there. Do you want me to start that again? Uh, sorry. It's from the solicitor. Kane will be getting his divorce papers today. You must have known it was coming. Is it worth trying to talk to her? Just to see? See what? Well, I don't know. 
See if she's as miserable about it as you are. Anything's got to be better than this. Hiya. Mr Grumpy, turns out it's your lucky day. We were actually talking. Never mind that. Two tickets. Posh food, posh hotel. <sighs> Brewery convention cane. It's the big beer weekend, yeah? Or what we would call a weekend. Or we did until you turn into farmer boring of boring farm. <sighs> oh. Carney's delivering. Dan can't do it because he's got the squits. Ew. See you in a bit. Sorry, did that just happen? Nice one. His divorce papers have just come through. So if I were you, I'd keep out of his way. Can't say hello. Papers came through. Great. Then I suggest you sign them. Uh, can I have a pipe? Can you bring it over? That looked like he can wait to get away from her. Rubbish. Wounded pride. On both sides. Maybe. Still, wounds only heal if you let him out. Right, I don't know if you want these. I was going to bin them, but some of them look important. A large solicitor. I've had all this already. She doesn't waste much time, does she? There's no point in dragging things out, is there? Couldn't they find our bell anywhere up here? There aren't any beds. Everyone keeps telling me it's the best place for... She is absolutely gorgeous. You look terrible. Your solicitor's a bit keen, ain't she? Lisa's bombed out with all the fan mail. So? So, I guess I'll get myself as Alyssa. Shall I just go No, some? there's no need. We're done here. Kane, do me a favour. Stop wasting my time and stay out of my life. Kane, if you want her, you're going to have to fight for her. She's not going to back down. Well, thanks for that, but the last thing I need right now is advice from a spackhead. Too young, God, Moira, she's too young. What's the idea on the way? No. Well, every silver lining has a cloud, I guess. Uh, excuse me, he's taken. If you want one, get your own. Holly. Holly's dead. that, wouldn't you? Say it again. What do you care anyway? Just say it. Holly's dead. You know, Holly, my sister. I mean, do you even remember her? Well, do you? Adam, Adam, come here. Come here, it's OK. It's OK. It's OK. <laughs> Saying this would happen. I told Maura the day we found out she was mixed up with that dealer. We don't actually know it's drugs yet, though. Oh, come on, of course it was. All that rubbish about being clean, I never bought it. Seen it too many times. She told her mum exactly what she wanted to wear, and Maura fell for it. You did all oh. you could. No. If we'd have done what I wanted, she'd have been kicked out right away. Oh, that time she ordered. Look, Holly made her choices. You don't need to feel bad. I reckon the best thing we can do right now is just get stuck into this. No. I've got to go. Where? Not Butler's farm, Kane. Look, you're the last person they want to see right now. Convinced she was clean until now, though. Uh, 
I know you think she was just another junkie. But she's still a person. Your stepkid once. You're allowed to be sad. I'm not sad. I'm angry. She had every chance to kick it. She's obviously been stringing them all along for weeks. Yeah, and I get how much you hated living with an addict. How much that cost you. But you did it. You stuck your neck out and you helped her. That is why it hurts so much now. OK. I don't want to talk about it. But what about Moira? You need to see her, Kane. No. No, I'm well out of this. She found her little girl dead in her room for hours, the police think. She's on auto at the moment. Why are you telling me all this? Because she needs you. Adam's got Victoria. She's, she's got no one. It was her and Holly. If you love her, like I know you do, this is when you show it. <laughs> oh, <get it. laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She was packing to go somewhere. Her passport was in it. She must have been in some kind of trouble. Well, maybe it's the stuff that she never unpacked. Yeah, but everything brings more questions. Did she take somebody to the wedding? Who did she get her drugs from? Leave it to the police. It's their job. It was my job to keep her safe. In a field. Shouldn't you be getting back to charity anyway? I do. What? I mean, the last thing we need... Is her doing her nut up here because you're hanging around Mum? Oh, I'm sorry, aren't you it? We're in charity together. From you to charity and what? Hmm? Two mums? Hard to believe he felt anything for you at all, Mum. Uh, just tell me what he's doing next and I'll get on with it, yeah? Tell Johnny the lovely. Thanks. Ah, right, come on, lunch is over. I see when lunch is over. Moira, I was going to tell you. In my own time. I think you should go, don't you? No. When you wait in the car. Have I made things worse? <laughs> no, of course not, yeah. Thank you for coming. And thank you for the lovely card. It's not your fault. to her. What if an ambulance got there right away? I think it would still have been too late. We don't know that. Not for sure. What good does it do going around in circles like this? I might have saved her. But like I said, you weren't to blame. And who was? Go on. I know you're itching to see it. I told you so. Once a junkie, always a junkie. Are you happy now? 
All she ever got from you is you are a worthless druggie, no good to anybody. Well, she believed you right to the end. It's going to be somebody's fault, and if it's not mine... I mean, did it ever occur to you to protect Holly too? To make her feel worthy of your love? Hmm? I'll come back later when you've calmed down. No, you won't. We needed you, but you weren't there. And now she's dead, and you think she deserves it. Stop it. <sighs> You're still in shock. Get out. Get out and stay out! Get out! What part of stay away don't you understand? All of it. I just thought you should hear this from me. Well, whatever it is, I'm not interested. Believe it or not, you're not the centre of the universe. Look, five minutes, that's all it'll take. And then I'll be out your life for good. You'll never have to see me again. Just say what you've come to say, then go, please. The last thing I need is your sympathy. I know I've messed things up between us and there's no going back. And yet you're here. I came to say goodbye. Deb has decided to stay in France. Make a new life away from here. I'm gonna do the same. I take it Charity's leaving with you? Yeah. She finally got what she wanted, didn't she? I'm surprised she's not here just to twist the knife one last time. This isn't about point scoring. Isn't it? You told me you wanted me out of your life, didn't you? So this is how you choose to do it? By running off into the sunset with Charity? And what else am I supposed to do, eh? Hang about on the off chance that you might change your mind? You made it quite clear that that's never going to happen. Or maybe it's best like this. You're not doing any of this for me, so don't try and justify it. This is about you. Because nobody dumps Kane Dingle, right? I didn't come here to argue. I just... thought I should tell you myself. Well, if you think I'm going to burst into tears, you've got another thing coming. Look, believe it or not, I still care about you. <laughs> you really have no shame. I mean it. I just wish... I just wish things had turned out differently. Well, I don't. And as far as I'm concerned, Charity can have you. You're nothing to me. Laura? The answer's no. Well, I haven't said anything yet. Just stay away, Keen. I don't want you there. Tomorrow. The point? Well, the funeral reception, are you going or not? Who was it to you? Because Adam's my mate. And so are you. Well, not for much longer if you keep this up. Why are you nagging me anyway? You heard Maura, she doesn't want me there. Oh, of course she wants you there. She just wants to tell you not to come and then she wants you to come anyway. Women's intuition. I didn't find it easy going to Gordon's funeral either, you know. But I went for Liv. And because I'm not a baby. Have you finished? Hey, who are you taking a note with? 
she didn't want you there, she said as much. So don't you be selfish. More tea? No, I'm all right, thanks. Will Kane be coming? No, he won't. I won't mention his name again, babe. Not today. Yeah, I think I got that. Sorry. Hi. Don't be. Not your fault. Okay, thank you. Delivery. A holly bush. I thought you said no flowers, though. Guess someone thought that that didn't count. Romana. Oh, that's nice of her. I do. What? She couldn't be bothered to turn up to her own sister's funeral, so she sends a, a holly bush. I mean, come on. Look, she meant well. Just go easy on her, would you? She's just lost her sister, too. Yeah, so she should be here, Mum. Everybody grieves differently. Doesn't mean that she doesn't care. Look, I don't need a lecture. What is the matter with me? Just let it go. I'll get the dustpan and brush. We can easily repot it, can't we? Yeah, of course we can. Well, do you know what? Just deliver them when you want them, cos I just don't care, all right? <laughs> How will Chaz manage without you, eh? All right, well, that's just the kind of support a lady needs from a fella, thank you. How do you know? Have you seen one? While this is comedy gold, I've got a lot on. Got loads of loose ends to tie up, you know. So leave them untied, you usually do. As tempting as that sounds. Well, you should go. Okay. See you there. No. I meant to the funeral. Look, if you really want to be there, I'll understand. Well, good to know. I'm not going. You okay? Very nice. Polly. It's a symbol of everlasting life. We meet here under these skies, in the peace of this afternoon. To place Holly's body in this ground. And to dedicate this space... No prizes for guessing she's looking out for precious her. memory. Associated OK. Nice to meet him here. You Same sure? She doesn't look like that to me. But either way, but of course he's not coming. Adam, whatever you might think she really needs him right now. Often, we don't always realise that's what they are. At least not at the time. So today, we're here to both celebrate Holly's life and each in our own way, say our goodbyes. Laura, thanks for speaking up for me about that. I wouldn't have needed to if you'd have shown the speeding ticket straight off. Yeah, well, coppers wind me up. You don't say. But pushing an injured man off a bridge isn't really your style. Well, I wouldn't have wished that on the block. I'm sorry. I'd tell it to Emma. I don't need sympathy or anything else from you. OK. Sorry I bothered. Then don't. Go if you're going. We're all better off without you. You can take this as an official goodbye. I'll pretend I've left, gone off with Mum. They won't know. I can't let you do that. I want to. Let me stay, please. <sighs> no, I wish I could. But right now, I, I can't look after you. I can barely look after myself. I can look after you. I can cook. Marlon taught me how to do scrambled eggs and sausage and mash. Yeah, that's a really kind offer. But it wouldn't be fair. I'm sorry. Why doesn't anybody want me? I do. I'll tell her to go away. Normally I would, but you need to go home to your mum. What's the point? She won't be there anyway. She's running off with Kane tomorrow and she doesn't even want me with her. Doesn't mean she doesn't love you. I do. 
More than anything. Noah, listen to me. Let's just go back home now and we can talk about it, yeah? Don't make me go. It's for the best. Noah. Don't pay too much attention to what he says. He's upset. I don't need your advice. So please, just stay out of our lives, OK? Please try and understand. I do. You dump me like you always do. It's not... Let me guess. You're doing a runner before the cops get you. I've done nothing wrong. My dad wouldn't agree with you if he was still alive, which he isn't. Believe what you like. You just don't care, do you? You're still here. Just off. Don't let me keep you. If you need to talk, just call. Oh, we had some good times. Yeah. Because normally marriage is just for Christmas. You're gonna be okay. Of course. Holly's dead. James is dead. What have I possibly got to complain about? You have a nice life, Kane. Or better still, don't. So what do you reckon's gonna happen then? She's just gonna welcome you back with open arms? You've humiliated her. She'll never trust you again. I know that. Well, then stop kidding yourself. It's over as far as she's concerned, whereas me, I'm stood right in front of you. OK, maybe I'm not at the top of your list right now, but come on, we belong together. You'll be all right. You'll, you'll find some rich French businessman with a dicky heart. No, I'm not like that anymore. I swear on our daughter's life, on, on our grandkids. Hey, 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 hey. You come with me to France. I'm with her keeps, no matter what. Keep me chained up in the bedroom if you don't believe me. I can't live without you. Well, you've always been able to. Maura's got nobody. I need to be with her. Out of pity? Oh, yes, she'll really thank you for that, won't she? I can't help it. I want her. She... She's my woman. No. No, I am. I'm sorry. No, stop apologising! Don't! Don't! <laughs> OK, fine. Tell me this. If Moira is so wonderful, how come I managed to snatch you away from her? I've been asking myself the same question. I was weak. <laughs> but dumping the mother of your kid is big and strong, is it? I've made my mind up. Well, then unmake it. Kay, please. You've no chance of ever winning Moira back. She hates your guts. Let's just get in the car now, me and you and go and join our family, you know, the people who you know will always love you. Say hi to Debs. <laughs> what? It's only a cow. Kate, okay, please don't do this to me. <laughs> Doing this to try and hurt you. Oh, don't give me that. You wouldn't care if I jumped off a cliff. Would you know what? Better off without you. That's what I'm saying. Well, go on then. Hurry home to the tragic farmer with your tail between your legs. Big man! You know what? You better be sure you know what you're doing. Because you've had your last chance. Kane! Please come back here now, or you will never see me or Debs or the kids ever again. And I am no bluffing. Kane! <sighs> so you want this to be over, do you?
blamed you. You're not worth the jail time. What are you doing back? It was wrong. Wrong about what? Everything. Holly, I... I should have got it. I, I should have helped her more. But you didn't. And I was wrong about us. I didn't fight for you, I just took the easy way out. I know you'll never forgive me for that, but... Well, I'm... I'm here, anyway. No. I'm sorry, I'm not having this. Get out. Look, you shouldn't be on your own. I shouldn't be a widow. I shouldn't have lost Holly. I shouldn't be a man down because James fell off a bridge. What can you do about any of that? Help out. No, thanks. Fair enough. If you do need me, I'll be in the caravan out there. What? And if I'm not out there, I'll be in the field, mending the fences or tending to the livestock. Are you deaf? I don't want you anymore. I get that. But this is where I belong. You're not the only one. We can't do this, Mum. Whether I like it or not, we're still married. Which means he has a stake in this place. But don't you hate having him around, though? Of course I do. But I wouldn't want to give him the satisfaction of thinking I care one way or another. I'm not asking for your permission. I'm staying now. End of. And you can forget about me being a silent partner and all. See ya. And you got work to do. Finish your oil on that car. What are you doing here? Oh. Change of plan. Where's Mum? Uh, I gave her my car, so Fran said she's got any sense. That's it. Just like that, you don't think an explanation might be nice? Same dingle. What is this, a welcome home party? You shouldn't have bothered. We didn't, it's about your car. Just wondered if you had any idea why it's at the bottom of Demdike Lake. It's the last thing we had to talk about. How are you? Well, if you mean it, do I care that Cain thinks he can just swarm back into my life and claim me like some trophy? Then the answer's no, I don't care. Any other time I might kick him off my land, but after everything, right now, I've not got the energy to care. Do you want me to tell you what you have become? Soft. We could have been miles away from here by now, couldn't yeah, we? Well, maybe what was enough wasn't tempting enough. Sorry. Nice one, Kane. Sorry. Thanks for that. You knew they were at it, though, right? What are you going on about? Get rid of him now. Of course, he tried to play it down. Reckoned it was just a snog, a meaningless fumble. Must have been some fumble for a bra to come off. She was gagging for it, Kane. Was all over him. Look, it wasn't like that. He told you he loved you. Are you going to deny that and all? He loved you. He didn't mean it. You OK? Well, you and Dad were sound, though. And you were getting married right in the farm? Yeah. So she fluttered her eyelashes at him. But there was nothing between us. <laughs> if you believe that, and you really are a mug. Just shut up. Why don't you make me cane? Ross. Go on. Do it. He didn't deserve to die, Kane. Emma. Listen. 
I had no idea about your dad and Moira. And besides, you know I prefer the quarry. Is that supposed to be funny? You won't look too upset. It's none of your business. What is it you want? Hmm? Apart from a good smack. Because crashing around, accusing folk, ain't gonna get you anywhere. It's time you grew up. Started to be grateful for what you had. And what would you know about it? He was a proper dad. Not many people get that. Yeah, and I want to know how he died. Someone was on that bridge. Yeah. They're not exactly rushing forward with information, are they? bothering you? No. What is your problem, eh? We're just talking. And she needs some space. You OK? Come inside. I'll put the kettle on. What's happened? I'm fine. Well, you look it. Just talk to me. <sighs> Would you give us a minute? Sure, yeah. I'll wait in the house. I just had a moment, that's all. Yeah. No, you're all right. Hardly stops as the funeral. I was there, you know? In the funeral. You said you'd stay away. I couldn't. She's still here. In every room. Is that why you went away? Yeah. Come back to even more mess now, eh? It's my fault, you know. James. Emma says it wasn't. No. no. Suicide. That's what the inquest was trying to say yesterday. Depression. He was here and, and I didn't see that. I was that wrapped up in myself. You weren't with him at the end, were you? No, but with Holly too. I didn't see it with her. And I've lost her too. You couldn't have loved Holly anymore. You couldn't, couldn't have done anymore. What she did. What James did. You are not to blame. What would Holly say if she was here? <laughs> She'd know that I tried. <laughs> she knows that you loved her. That's all you can do. What am I supposed to do with this? I mean, how can I carry on when I can't even bear my own home? I know there's people who love you. Knowing we are right here. Yeah. I should go. stuff with Emma. Why did you take her side? Because she was in the right. Oh, come on, you know her better than that. I know you too. <sighs> Do you know what? You're welcome to her. Oh, 
what you're playing at. Well, I asked you to leave. You didn't, so I moved you. You could have killed me. Well, you look OK. <laughs> You're just going to leave me here, are you? Well, if you drag it back, I'll only move you again. Well, I'm just I'm just trying to help out. I'm just trying to take the pressure off and lighten the load. It's funny, that. Because all I can see is a man trying to lighten his own guilt. <sighs> this is down to Emma. Can't you see that? Oh, you're just trying to play some big power game. Well, I'm not playing. Stay off my land or next time you'll regret it. thinking about... Hey, you can't be here. Look, my mum's at the market. She's not going to be back for ages, so... <sighs> she can eat it up. She doesn't need it. Or you. Well, I thought she made herself clear. <sighs> I made sure she was out. I I I'm respecting what she wants. It doesn't mean to say I can't do stuff for her. Or you, you know, if you need us. <sighs> Look, I never saw you, all right? the market? Uh, strange. Huh? Bad prices. Oh. Bad chat up lines. I get asked out three times. Mm. Word spreading about Cain, then? Uh, and farmers are a desperate bunch. So you didn't take anyone up on the offer? No, they're only after me for my acreage. Oh, is that what they're calling it these days? <laughs> it's all this. Lunch on me. Since you've been working so hard. I was just about to warm it up. Sit down. Relax. Relax. If you're missing farm work, you can go and muck the pigs out. I don't miss the farm work. I hate the farm work. Wow. You know those kids in my unit with clinical depression chirpier than you? Well, if I'm bothering you, there's a caravan outside. Well, I'm not budging. Why can't you just talk to her? Talking doesn't get through. Being there doesn't get through. All right, but sitting there with the can does, yeah? Raw or not. You? You... You're a love letter? No, it wasn't some soppy drivel. All right. Well, have you heard anything? I'm here, aren't I? Maybe you should give the soppy drivel a try. When she's made me suffer long enough, she'll come round. What did the note say, then? That I'd gone. Like she wanted. But I'll never leave her. If she wants me, I'm just a call away. Well, that's that's perfect. She's definitely gonna ring you. <laughs> this must be bust then. Why didn't you tell me the takeaway was from Cain? I wanted to, but I just couldn't stand the idea of him wheedling his way back in. Not after all the things that he'd been saying. What things? It was only a matter of time till he'd worn you down. Look, I know I should have just thrown the curry away, but... The truth is, I just wanted you to like me. Sorry, I was, I was in the wrong. Emma, wait. You should have said. Oh, is that it? I was at least going to get a punch up for my birthday. <laughs> Might yet. You should ask her. Ask her what? Uh, just if you got his note. I did. In, in fact, I have it here. <laughs> Moira. I know I have no right to ask, but I am begging you to let me come home. 
Without you, I don't know who I am anymore. You're the best part of me. The reason I get up every morning. You made your point. Yeah? Well, just in case it hasn't sunk in yet. I don't want your stupid cart or your takeaway curry. And I definitely don't want you. So just stay the hell away from me. What's this? You've not taken a penny off me for all the extra help. It's the least I could do. I don't want pay. We've been friends for a very long time, and I wanted to stay that way. So please, take the money and promise that you'll stay away. Right. She doesn't owe you anything. She's being more than fair. You need to watch her, you know. She's after the farm. She's totally pulling your strings. I'm looking out for her, that's all. Looking out for yourself, you mean? Like she's family, which you aren't anymore. So, yes, I would like to spend Christmas with you, but you can all come to me. I've got more room. Great. Whatever suits. Now, you do what you want with that. But just stay out of my life and out of my business. You're nothing to me now. He's obviously not happy. Like you said, I need to move on. What line is he feeding you? Oi. Any trouble from you, missus, and you're out. I mean, it can't be the truth. What with you still sat here? Things got a bit touchy-feely yesterday. You are? It was nothing. <laughs> really? It was just a kiss that saw me, I swear. What are you doing? Going home. Hallelujah. I don't even want to think about this. Moira. Oh, go away, Kane. Give me the keys. No. Look, you reek of booze. Like, you've never had a drink. I'm not going to let you drive. Then I said, get out. You can't tell me what to do. What? Watch out! Jay! <sighs> Moira! You all right, mate? OK, just sit up slowly. You all right? Pete? Pete, can you hear me? Pete! What happened? I need help. Oh, Emma. Wait, please. Oh, my God. Pete! What's going on? Oh, Jacob, what happened? I'm sorry. I was crossing the road and I didn't look. Look, it wasn't your fault, OK? Moira, call an ambulance. Look at me, sir. What the hell happened? I didn't see him. I couldn't break in time. You hit him? Oh, Pete. Please wake up. Is he okay? Pete, you're gonna be okay, sweetheart. The ambulance is here. Just just <laughs> It was an accident. Right, we're gonna get you to the hospital now, okay? No, honestly, I'm okay. Guys made of tough stuff this one. How are we doing here? I'm alright. Pete pushed me out of the way. Should go and help him. Just want to go home. Please. Has he been sick tonight? Right, okay, in a minute. Let me just see how Pete's doing here. Why did you say you were driving? Because everyone saw you knocking him back in the pub. This is not your problem. Do you want to go down for drink driving? Or worse? He is going to be okay, Nick. We'll know more once we get into hospital. Maybe Jacob should go to the hospital. Emma, does he look all right to you? He said that he's fine, didn't he? It's Pete who's in trouble here. Was this really an accident? Were well, you accusing me of something? Well, I don't know. You just found out that she kissed Pete the other day and then the next thing you've mowed him down. What? It wasn't like that. You better pray that my son's going to be all right. 
Look, come on. We should go. There's nothing we can do. I can't leave her now. Not until we know what's happening with Pete. Please. Oh, Emma, try and stay calm. Pete will be OK. <laughs> and what if he's not? What if I'm being punished? Mum, I've got your message. How's he doing? Yeah, doctors are assessing him. They have to see if he has bleeding on the brain. Hey, yes. <laughs> She should probably get her head looked at, I know. Well, she's upset, isn't she? And it's all my fault. Yeah, nobody needs to know, do they? Well, Pete might know. What if he says something when he wakes up? If he wakes up. Help someone! Does someone help? I thought he was OK. Yeah, so did I. Can we get a trolley. Why don't we join your mum in the chapel? Say a prayer for Pete with her. What's the point? Even if there is a God, he's obviously got it in for us. Layla, that was Jackie. Where is he? I've not seen him since we brought him in. They said he's got a punctured tongue. But he's going to be all right. They're doing some sort of procedure to um, drain his chest. Couldn't even hold his hand. Just stick to the story, and it'll be okay. I understand there's been a road traffic accident. Is the driver of the vehicle involved here? That'll be me. Yeah, and you need to know that it wasn't an accident. Were you a witness? No, but my son's the victim. He's got it in for him. He did it deliberately. It wasn't like that. Look, the, the other lad, Jacob, he stepped out in front of the van and, and before I could react, Pete pushed him out of the way and took the impact. He's lying. He had a motive to hurt Pete. Ask her. Hang on a minute. My son is laid in a hospital bed. I need to know how he got there. Wayne, if you're hiding something... I'm not. I swear. Well, will you just stop, all of you? You can't blame Keen for this. I'll but... need to take statements from both of you. If you'll come this way, sir. Don't listen to his lies. This is attempted murder. You can't let him get away with it. Look, you're scared of him because you know what he's capable of. But you can't cover for him. We're your family. And we've been here before. And he nearly ran my dad off the road. You can't let him get away with it again. I wouldn't, but that's not what happened. So it was just an accident. I can tell that you're hiding something. <sighs> Mrs Barton? Yeah? Your son's a lucky man. Pete's OK. <sighs> he suffered a concussion and some cuts and bruises. But nothing more serious than that. Oh, thank God. Could we see him? Maybe now we'll get to the truth. Right. You're up. Just keep you cool. We'll be in the clear, OK? Pete's awake. I mean, he's OK, but... What if he knows that I was driving? Well, then it's only his word against ours. <sighs> then I should tell the truth. I can't have you hung out to drive by Emma. Look, I can handle it. Just keep it together and we'll get past this, yeah? <sighs> okay. And you go to see Pete? I'm sure he won't miss me, not when he's got you to kiss him better. He was telling the truth earlier. The kiss, it. It was all me. He didn't want it. He wants you. No, I couldn't care less about some stupid kiss right now. My son is having tubes put in his chest. And it could have been a lot worse if Pete hadn't risked his life. Please, don't punish him. Lila, Lila, Jack is walking up. Come on. How'd it go? If you mean did the police believe my lies, then yeah, it went OK. Good. So it's done with. You don't have to do this. I don't deserve it. Not after what you heard about me and Pete. Sorry. It doesn't matter what you say or do. I can't stop caring about you. I wish I could. Yeah, it's official. You're now the ugly brother. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose someone had to give you a break, didn't they? Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ross texted. He said, uh, man up your big girl's blouse. Oh, charming. 
Now, if you're quite finished winding your brother up, you can get off if you like. All right, come on. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. See ya. Are you really okay? Yeah, that's what the doctor said, didn't they? How's Jacob? Yeah, he'll be fine. No thanks to that maniac. He doesn't care who gets caught in the crossfire. Pete, listen. The police are going to want to talk to you. I can't remember much. I saw Jacob and in the road and... Well, the next thing I wake up here. Well, Cain did this on purpose. And that's what you have to tell the police. He's already admitted that he was driving. Yeah, but I don't know if that's what really happened, Mum. You can't let him get away with this. Which he will. If you don't speak up. He's already got Moira lying for him. She might have convinced the police, but I could see in her eyes she wasn't being honest. Why? What she said? Oh, that it was an accident. But come on. One minute Kane hears about you and Moira, the next he hits you with a van. That can't be a coincidence. But why would Moira lie, Mum? <laughs> because she's terrified of him. And she's right to be. He's a psycho. You might have been lucky this time, but what if he comes after you again? Who knows who else will get hurt? Poor Layla's already in bits, looking at her boy lying in a hospital bed. Kane needs to be stopped. Cheers. So you've been discharged? Yeah. So you can tell Kane that I'm sorry to disappoint him. He didn't mean for any of this to happen. Yeah, right. I bet he's already tried to worm his way out of it with the police. It was an accident. But he finds out about me and you the next thing I'm in an ambulance. It really isn't what you think. But why are you still defending him? Look, you don't have to. You're divorcing him, remember, and with good reason. He was defending me because he wasn't driving. I was. Kane was trying to stop me because he knew I'd had a drink, but I just wanted to get away. I, I, I wasn't thinking. I, I can't bear to be in my own head right now. I'm sorry. Pete, police are here to take your statement. Still there, then? I need to know what happened with the police. I told them the truth. I can't remember what happened. Thank you. Kane doesn't deserve to go down for something I did. Yeah, well, I kept quiet for you. Not him. But all of this is my fault. But why are you doing this to yourself? But we're all messed up after Holly and Dad. How can you be so reasonable? I could have killed you and Jacob. Yeah, or yourself. Why oh, don't you even care about that? Look, I know you're grieving. But it's like you've given up on everything. Look, you need to get a grip, Moira. Yeah. I've been really selfish, and, and now Kane's going to get endless grief for something I did. Yeah, well, he can take it. No. No, I need to put things right. I'm going to change my statement and admit to what I've done. If Kane was to take the rap, you let him. I mean, God knows he owes you. Do you think he would do this for me if he knew what really happened between us? Yeah, well, he can't, though. No. no one can. I've just covered for you with the cops, so you can't say anything. Oh, please, Moira. I don't want to lose Layla. Then why sleep with me? Unfinished business, maybe. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. I know that I can't ever be with you. Look, we've both screwed up. But you just have to put all this behind you. Well, we've both still got something to lose. No, no way. I'm just looking for a reaction. Okay. You want me to kick off, storm out? No. Come on. Come on, you can do better than that. It was a mistake. Just go out of hand.
Right. Um, so you, you, you and him. When did you become such a sp what? What kid? A slag. Well, they won't be so proud. <laughs> Who the hell are you to judge me? You weren't playing Mr. Morality when you were in bed with Charity. All right, so you're doing this to get back at me, are you? You didn't even enter my head. Yeah, that's right. And do you know what? Stuff being sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I loved every single second. And you? You don't even compare. Well... It won't be able to do out once I put him back in hospital. Give me the key. This wasn't Pete's fault. Give me the key. So you can show what a big man you are. Don't make me do this. It's not even about Pete. Face it, you're just jealous that it wasn't you. You can't stand the fact that I didn't come running to you. Yeah, all right, it should have been me. I wish it had been me, because if you needed someone... I needed anyone that wasn't you. So if you're going to hurt someone, hurt me. Come on. I deserve it, don't I? I mean, what kind of a cheap skank does that to King Dingle? <gasps> Hurts, doesn't it? Right to the pit of your stomach. <laughs> Who's going to punch you back, you know? I'm so tired of fighting. I'm tired of everything. I never meant to mess you up. And you've messed yourself up. Everything I've got coming to me, I deserve it. You don't deserve any of this. Give me the key, I need to go. So you can do something stupid? I don't want you to end up in a cell again, Kane. <laughs> Why not? Easy way of getting me out your life. You think I blame you for everything? For all of this? We were so close. So close to getting it right. So that's it. You come round here trying to make everything better, but you can't finish the job. What else do you want from me? What are you doing? You don't want this. Kate, I need this. I need you. Did you change my alarm? Oh, my Christmas to you, I know. Oh, Kane. Yeah? What well, I thought you could do with the line. Hurts fan and all. But you had no right. Well, it's done anyway. Last night was a mistake. Right. Is that what you're telling yourself, is it? It's the truth. I, mean, I suppose I should be thanking you. I've been going out of my mind, acting like a complete idiot. But last night, it was a wake-up call. I need to get my act together. And I need you as far away from me as possible. Merry Christmas.
Well, what are you doing here? Leave him. Is it one of Hannah's? No, it's from Keane. Oh, he must have dropped it off before. What was he even doing here anyway? So, what is it? What? Well, it, it's a mixtape he made years back. I found it in some of his stuff. It's how we realise we liked a lot of the same bands. I'm not even sure I've got anything to play on. <laughs> right, OK. Beck, this is to you from Adam again. Now, can she open this one? Uh, let me check. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. <laughs> let me Let's check. Have a look. Yeah, you're all right with that.